Good evening. My name is Chris Van Bergic, and I'm the principal of Penticton Secondary School. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to our 2021 Convocation Ceremony. I would like to acknowledge that we are on the traditional territory of the Okanagan First People, and we are grateful for being able to celebrate this occasion here together. Due to the nature of this Convocation Ceremony, we have a number of special guests who are not able to attend in person, but they send their best regards to the graduating class. In particular, Chief Gabriel of the Penticton Indian Band, His Worship Mayor for the City of Penticton, Mr. John Vasilaki, Mr. Dan Ashton, the member of the BC Legislative Assembly for Penticton, Summerland, Naramata, and Peachland, and the Honorable Richard Cannings, Member of Parliament. Thank you all for your best wishes for this graduating class and for your contributions to our community. Representing the Board of Education, we have Chairman of School District 67, uh, Board of Trustees, Mr. James Polanio. He will be presenting to the graduates later in this ceremony. We also have Trustee Ms. Shelley Clark, Trustee Ms. Kathy Pierre, Trustee Ms. Barb Shepard, Trustee Mr. Dave Stathers, Trustee Ms. Linda Van Alphen, and Trustee Ms. Tracy Van Rees. Thank you all for your contributions to our district and for your well wishes to our graduates tonight. Representing the school district, we also have Superintendent, Mr. Todd Manuel, who will bring an address to the graduates later in the ceremony. Thank you for all your efforts in leading our school and district through this very challenging year. And I'd also like to take a moment and recognize the donors and members of the Scholarship and Bursary Foundation, whose generous contributions make the Bursary and Scholarship Awards possible for our students. While the donors are not here in person, I know that each donor sends their best to the graduating class and joins in the celebration this evening. And I would also like to recognize the staff of Penticton Secondary, who have spent the last four years investing in the lives of our graduating students. This has been a challenging year, to say the least, but your efforts these past months, planning and preparing for this ceremony today, and ensuring that all our graduates make it to this stage are so appreciated. Thank you, staff. Graduates, please know that while not every staff can be present tonight with you, their heart is to be there celebrating. Finally, please join me in welcoming all of our parents and guests, and of course, tonight's most honored attendees, our graduates. Grads of Penticton Secondary School, this has been a year to remember. Thinking back to when you joined us as grade nine students four short years ago, none of us could have anticipated a final year like this one. The 2021 grad class represents the 109th graduating class of Penticton Secondary. There continues to be an incredibly deep and rich history associated with our school and with our graduating classes. You are part of that history to finish your grade 11 year online and navigate your graduating year with lanyards and sanitizer, masks and physical distancing, the challenges that have been thrown your way over the course of this past year and a half have been many. And yet you have risen above all of this. And now we're here. We're here to celebrate you, to celebrate your accomplishments and to celebrate you crossing into the next stage of your lives. Grads, I hope you know how proud we are of you. Would you all please take a moment and join me in recognizing your graduate for whom we are all gathered tonight. I would like to welcome to the stage one of our graduates, Miss Chloe Coffin for the singing of O Canada. Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true norm strong and free. From far and wide, oh, 
Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Thank you, Chloe. At this time, it's my honor to invite Grandma Grace Gray Eyes to the stage for a traditional blessing for our graduates. Why? Why is Naksilt? Why Lemlumt is his Temhulau? Is Lemlumt e Silk? Is Lemlumt e Temhu? Is lemlem ti kulan chutn i stikal si ku ilhn. Is lemlem ti is ma maya. Is sukna ma maya. Lemlem ti kulan chutn i klak klak hap i hu it i klak klak hap. Lemlem ti kulan chutn is ka. On ways me stin is ka. Lemlem to Colon Chutten is not silt, is quasquasia, is an am imat, eat at upa. Lemlem to Colon Chutten. I have said the prayer for a good many years now, and lots of people don't know what I say. The first one is I thank the Creator for our land our water, our animals, and our food. And in our Indian country, we have the four chiefs who are here now, the where we dig our roots, where we pick our berries, where we pick our medicines and our food, and the salmon. We are so happy that we get to do this every year. So, you know, I, I, I ask the Creator for gratitude and thanks. And I also prayed thankful for our teachers and our schools. I thank the Creator for a lot of things because when I wake up every day, I thank Him for that. I'm going to be 79 this year. When I hit 80, I'm going to party. And I also like to thank the old ones. I always honor the grandfathers and grandmothers that don't get mentioned sometimes in our political field. So I always take this time to thank them. And I also know that there are kids that are graduating this year that I was a grandma to at West Bench. And I honor those children because I had them from kindergarten all the way to grade five. And now they grew up to be young men and women. I don't recognize them anymore because they change, right? So I am so proud that they are graduating along with the rest of the children here that are graduating. I congratulate you, every one of you, and you are our future, future, and always remember that, because I think, as I speak before, that you young people will be the politicians in charge of the people, and make sure you have listened to Grandma's words about take care of the people, all of them from the poor to the richest. Everybody has to have a chance of a good life. And I pray that you, pay, you have good choices in your life and the goals that you meet. And if you don't like the subject you're doing, 
Take another one that's going to, that you're going to be happy with. And again, I congratulate you all. And I congratulate the mothers and fathers, the grandfathers and grandmothers, aunties and uncles that had a part in your life of getting you here. They are so proud of you. And I thank everyone for coming. Celebrate with your child. Because when they walk out the door and say, bye, mom, I'm off to college, they're gone. And then you have to change the room into a game room or, a, or the husband's, what do they call that? A cave. <laughs> but you know what? I think life is good for me because I'm here. And I really appreciate all you children. Because children are number one with me. I want to make sure that they have an education, that they know their goals and where they're going to be. And I sit there and I watch because I am a Facebook grandma too, so I know what everybody's doing. And if you're not doing good, then you will be hearing from grandma. So thank you, everybody. And have a wonderful evening in celebration of your child. Lim Lim, thank you. Thank you, Grandma Grace. At this time, I would ask that Miss Kathy Pierre come to the stage to provide a welcome to the territory. Kathy. Thank you. Why Incha is squeezed Lee Hilt. Hello, my name is Kathy Pierre trustee for School District 67, and director of education for the Penticton Indian Band. I'd like to welcome everybody and acknowledge that we live, work, learn, and play on the unceded territory of the Seelks Nation, specifically the Penticton Indian Band. Congratulations, grads of 2021. I am honored, excited, and happy to be here today. I can only imagine how you're all feeling. I suspect you are feeling proud and excited as you walk across the stage today. Some of you may be feeling a little apprehensive as you leave high school to continue your journey into adulthood. Just remember, don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. It isn't a sign of weakness, it is a sign of strength. As a mom, I can attest that your parents are feeling emotional as they celebrate you. They are proud and happy for you. You are growing and becoming exceptional, independent young men and women. Please remember to thank those who were your biggest cheerleaders, your parents, teachers, families, and friends. Grads, please go forth into the world as, as great citizens and leaders. You can bring positive change and hope to create a better world for all. In closing, I would like to share this quote by Michael Josephson. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. Best wishes, grads of 2021, Lim Lempt. Thank you, Kathy. As well, please welcome one of our graduates, Tristan Campy, who will be joined on stage by his mom, Miss Anona Campy, for the singing of the Okanagan song.
We are beautiful. Because we are Okanagan. Because our land is beautiful. Limb limbs. Thank you, Grandma Grace, Kathy, Tristan, and Anona. At this time, I would like to welcome to the stage Mr. Todd Manuel, Superintendent of Schools for School District 67, to share a message with the graduates. Hello, my name is Todd Manuel, Superintendent of Schools for School District 67. And uh, I have a few words to share with the grad class of 2021 from Penticton Secondary School. One of the greatest jazz musicians of all time, Miles Davis, had this to say about improvisation. It's not the note you play that's the wrong note. It's the note you play afterwards that makes it right. This past year, the grad class of 2021 heard a lot of notes that did not sound right. Moving to remote learning, shifting to an adapted timetable, no organized sports or tournaments, canceled field trips, no audiences for music or theater. Those are just a few of the things that were lost. And those are the sounds that students bring into our schools that breathe life into our school communities. And sadly, they were silenced. However, as you adapt and improvise, you demonstrated that even through the most difficult times, they can be filled with resiliency, with creativity, with hope and promise. So while we cannot make up for lost opportunities, we can acknowledge in how dealing with the difficult time, you kept your own songs moving forward. You shared laughs with friends. You made connections to your learning and you started to make plans for your future. And all the while, you created and accomplished something for which there was no roadmap. There was no musical chart. You navigated your gradu graduate graduating year through a pandemic and many times along the way you had to improvise and you did so with dignity and poise so when we look back at the grad class of 2021 we will remember the sacrifices you made but more than that we'll remember how you stayed positive through tough times how you adapted and improvised to help all of us to get to this point I would like to encourage you to please enjoy your grad safely you have much to be thankful and proud of, and we all look forward to hearing your next notes. Thank you.
Thank you, Superintendent Manuel. At this time, Chief Gabriel will share a message for our graduates. Good afternoon. Um, uh, as Chief of the Penticnian Band and uh, on behalf of our council members, uh, we want to congratulate all students for achieving this huge monumental milestone in your lives. Um, and I'm hoping that it's just one of many achievements and milestones uh, that will come your way throughout your journey through life. Our leadership, uh, past and present, have always maintained that our children are our greatest resource. I congratulate you, your teachers, your parents, your family members, everyone that stood beside you and supported you and gave you encouragement and lifted you up during the hard times to get you to this very special day in your lives. Sadly, uh, your graduation, in particular this year, will be a graduation that goes down in the history books. Amongst all the challenges that you've endured and faced throughout the many years of your school uh, activities, this one would be the most significant Included with your daily challenges, you had to deal with the COVID situation, which we all know changed everyone's life in the past year and a half. You will now become part of that history. And the way you met with this challenge and endured, you're going to inspire many, many other students that follow in your footsteps so you need to be proud of where you're at today. You have proven that you have already proven that you've stood up to many challenges and you've endured and you persevered and I congratulate you all. As you continue through your journey through life, um, I hope that you find your true meaning and passion. I will not tell you to follow your dreams. I will tell you to find your passion. And I'm hoping it's a meaningful and worthwhile passion. And be good at it. Accept it, be good at it, and make it your own. Thank you all. I congratulate you and I wish you all the very best. Thank you, Chief Gabriel. And now I would like to ask Chair of the Board of Trustees, Mr. James Planio, to join me on stage to present his message to our graduates. James? Thank you. Welcome, graduates, and congratulations from all the trustees from Okanagan Skaha School Board 67. April 2020 seems so long ago. Those grads were realizing their graduation was going to be different. There wasn't a lot of time to adapt or think about the changes being made. But they were thankful, for the most part, for any sort of ceremony. It was understood then that these sacrifices would help us out of this pandemic. However, the efforts to control this virus carry on to this day, making this grad year, the class of 2021, very likely the toughest grad years in memory. Restrictions, limitations, right from day one, were mentally draining. That changes who you are, changes how you are. I can argue your changes have been positive. You've shown grit, resilience, determination, the ability to adapt and roll with the punches. It is these characteristics that got you here, a member of the graduating class of 2021. Today, we will celebrate a uniquely amazing, different, cozy grad ceremony. 
Today is awesome. Tomorrow, all your tomorrows, make them awesome as well. As you enter the next phases of your life, be it continuing education, joining the workforce, maybe even traveling. Traveling. Karamias is nice this time of year. No matter how you choose to embrace your life, you will be stronger and your achievements higher because you have survived, endured, and grown this past year. And triumphantly proven, you can overcome the obstacles around you and be successful. Your success, however, is to be shared. Shared with all the people that supported you along the way and will continue to support you throughout your life. You can thank them for all their support by showing them how you overcome future obstacles with class, grace, confidence, and of course that same grit and determination that got you here today. Grads, life is tough, but heck, you've been through tough. You got this. So congratulations, graduates. The world is waiting. Thank you. Thank you, James. Graduation is certainly a time for celebration. However, it is also a time for reflection. I would like to take this moment and acknowledge the recent tragic discovery of 215 Indigenous young people buried at the site of the Kamloops Residential School. There are no words for such a tragedy. The blessing from Grandma Grace holds a special place for our graduates and our community every year. However, this year, it particularly stands out. As a residential school survivor herself, these past number of weeks have been particularly hard for Grandma Grace. And yet, she still comes to bless our graduates. This is amazing. This is humbling. And this is grace. And while there are no words for such a time, I would like to offer a blessing in return. A blessing for our Indigenous community, for the elders, for our students, and for their families. We ask that there would be healing in our land. We ask for reconciliation. We acknowledge with sorrow and shame the horrific experiences that many in our Indigenous communities have had to deal with and are still struggling with to this day. May these burdens, these heavy burdens, be lifted from them. May our Indigenous elders and their families be blessed. May our students and their futures be blessed. And not just these students, but also those for generations to come. May we, as individuals and as a country, learn from the wrongs of the past, and may love light our path forward so that we can look ahead to a better future. Limlim. Many of our graduates have elected to wear an orange ribbon today in recognition and remembrance of the young lives lost in residential schools. They choose to wear this ribbon in both support of and acknowledgement of the families impacted by this loss. They also wear it as a call to action towards truth and reconciliation. We invite each of you to join us in that call to action to a better future for all of us. Thank you. One of the exciting elements of graduation is the transition for grads to their future, a bigger, brighter, better future, the next stage of their lives. The Penticton District Scholarship Foundation has been assisting our students with the next steps in their formal education for over 25 years. Each year, the foundation gives an amazing amount of support, and this year, the foundation will be awarding over 180 bursaries and almost $150,000 will be dispersed to our grads this evening. This is the result of hours of volunteer work on behalf of the committee and the very generous donations of alumni, parents, benefactors and businesses in the Penticton area. For this, we are extremely grateful. 
So thank you to all the donors and to the foundation for their work. Graduation is a momentous occasion, a time of celebration and a time for reflection. Celebration of the accomplishments of our grads, the countless hours put in by these students to meet the challenges put before them, a celebration of the incredible support from family and community, as well as a time to look ahead to the many incredible possibilities of the future. But for parents and grads, this is also a time for reflecting on the past 13 years, the memories and the friendships formed. For this moment of celebration and reflection, the graduates selected two peers to represent them as valedictorians. It is my pleasure to introduce two outstanding students and citizens of Penn High to deliver the valedictory address. Please welcome your 2021 valedictorians, Ms. Ellen Nutchins and Mr. Matthew Broder. Welcome, graduates, teachers, family, and friends to the 2021 graduation ceremony. My name is Ella Nutchins. Matthew, uh, that's my line. Oh boy, uh, cut, cut. My name is Ella Nutchins. And I am Matthew Broder. We are both humbled and honored to have been chosen as your valedictorians. These past four years have been a wild ride. And now that we have come to the end of our journey, we stand at the crossroads of our future and all the paths that lie before us. Matthew, there are so many paths. Which one do I take? Well, where do you want to go? I don't really know. Well, it doesn't matter, just like it didn't matter back in grade nine. We weren't handed a map then, and yet somehow we made it here today. Wow, Matthew, how wise. I didn't know you had such a philosophical side. It's true though, these past 13 years, there was no map. I guess we can think of them as the ultimate road trip, packed into cars, darting around obstacles, just trying to make it to the finish line. One thing is for certain, if you're gonna embark on a long road trip, you're gonna need fuel, something to put in your engine and to keep you going, clocking all those kilometers every day. Exactly, what is it that gets you up in the morning? Gets you to open your books? Gets you to try out for that team? Well, it's probably something different for each and every one of you. Maybe it was the thought of seeing your friends. Or maybe it was attaining academic achievements or pursuing success in extracurricular activities. Or maybe it was just your parents' constant nagging, which is like the seatbelt buzzer. Or your friend's annoying voice. Ella, put your seatbelt on. Whatever it was, there was something that propelled us forward towards the final destination. I think we can all agree this journey began a little bit awkwardly as little grade nines. We felt like we were speeding down a new road full of new speed bumps that we had never encountered before. Uh, this forced us to slow down from our constant acceleration through middle school. Oh, there were speed bumps all right. Don't forget, a handful of grade nines even had the dreaded fear of Mr. Cook's socials class, which was given the reputation of being extremely difficult with all those revy sanks. Um, I think you're getting it mixed up with someone. Anyways, thankfully by grade 10, the road started to smooth out a little. We knew things like which bathrooms to avoid and the finer, more important details, like the addictive qualities of the Penn High cafeteria cookies, which would quickly make you sick if you ate too many of them. We definitely had quite the diet back then. Greasy pizza from across the street, undercooked cookies, candies from 2-4, Oh, and we should probably give a huge shout out to the peculiar little man who might have worked at 2-4, but either way, would remind you to take off your backpack every single time. When we got to grade 11, we were definitely more adventurous, off-roading and stopping at the different lookouts along the way. We finally began to understand the rules of the road and that the stops that we made would heighten our high school experience. These include many different activities and extracurriculars that we could pursue, like competing for the numerous Penn High sports teams. Or maybe it was expressing ourselves in the drama room, where we uncovered a confidence that had always lain within us, but just needed to be roused with the help of Mr. Knudsen. Or maybe it was with Mr. Glibbery, who used music as a method to transform our experiences and emotions. And even if you weren't in band, music added greatly to the road trip. It enhanced moments spent in solitude, or with your friends. But don't get me wrong, it could destroy moments as well, 
like when your beloved friend hops on ox and decides to only play One Direction. There were those of us who found our place working at the different shops at Penn High, having a place where we could pursue our passions and hone our skills. And for some of us, we preferred the quieter roads, finding refuge in the stillness of the art room or in the quiet of the library. On top of the extracurricular activities and comforting spaces the school provided us with, there have been many memorable events that have shaped our experience at Penn High. Most of us will remember Penn High crushing Maggie in the Cross City Games. Except for last year, where Penn High kind of fell asleep at the wheel. But how amazing to experience the energy that surrounded those games, along with the pep rallies. Hundreds of people packed into the stands, cheering wildly, especially when Mr. Gow's notorious t-shirt cannon came out, blowing candy bags and t-shirts into the stands. The crowds got particularly excited when the mascots started to have a dance-off that quickly escalated into something a little bit more physical. Another memorable experience was line dancing. Even though some of us saw gym class as an opportunity to skip school, no one failed to miss this particular, particular activity, a time where students could bond over Mr. Grant's nimbleness and attain the satisfaction of absolutely destroying Fireball. Personally, I just preferred to sit in the corner, watching and laughing as everyone tried to coordinate their feet. Okay, let's be real, Matthew. That's because you were that uncoordinated person. By the time we were in grade 12, it finally felt like we could put the car in cruise control, with the finish line clearly in sight. This didn't stop staff from pulling us over and asking us strange questions like, who am I and where am I going? These vague and often frustrating traffic stops were, I guess, pretty useful in figuring out the next leg of our journey. On any good road trip, there's room for some shenanigans, whether it's playing man tracker late at night or sacrificing sleep to ensure that you made it to the next round of Spy vs. Spy. We certainly found ways to have a little fun. Oh, and whoever hit Hunter's grandma in the face with a water gun? Too far. Thinking back, we participated in many activities that now make us wonder, what the heck were we thinking? Because we don't want to dwell on them long and endure the pain associated with these memories, here's a quick list of some of the worst, to which Matthew will provide a visual interpretation. Uh, no I won't. Bottle flipping? Flossing. No cat. Whipping nene. Dabbing. Most TikTok trends. Every girl's hockey boy phase. Clout goggles. Hider flasks. Scrunchies. Fidget spinners. Visco girls. Tide pods. Fortnite dancing. And tea posing. Wow, what a long list of embarrassing things. But there's something else that I think is important to remember. All these stupid activities don't seem so stupid when we have people to laugh at them with. These people are the people in your pit crew. Pit crew? What do you mean? You know, when a race car rushes into a pit stop and gets its wheels changed, windows cleaned, and more gas? Oh yeah, okay, I get it. It's important to acknowledge our crew. Mm -hmm. All the people in our lives who have supported us through our journey. Maybe even taken over the wheel when we felt like we couldn't keep on going. Although it might be nice to believe that we made this trip all on our own, that would be very presumptuous. Our success rides on the backs of all those who supported us. We may have been driving the car, but we wouldn't have got anywhere with the, uh, without the engine. Each one of us have been enveloped in a warm bath of friendship and connection. Wait, bath of friendship? Ella, did you add this to my part? Yeah, straight from a Hallmark card. But, but what I was trying to say was that we must show gratitude for the friendships that were crucial on our journey. Your friends are the people who stayed in your car, no matter how bad your driving was, the ones you would comfortably over-passenger for, and put up with their questionable taste in music. We must also have gratitude for the people who ignited our desire for learning, our teachers. They were like the notorious two-time Tom, making sure that we were ready to safely enter the next part of our journey without being a hazard to other individuals. We can't stress enough the tireless work of our teachers. Not only did they put countless hours into the classroom, they often gave up their weekends and evenings to ensure we got those extras, like forensics, forensics club. In keeping up with the road trip theme, they definitely went the extra mile. We must also have gratitude for the work that the admin does. Losing sleep, sitting through countless boring meetings, and having to deal with our angry parents. Without their sacrifices, none of us could have made it here, to the finish line. We also can't forget the incredible support provided by our counselors, especially during this difficult final stretch of our trip. 
With their help, we were able to get back on track whenever we got lost, and many of us found comfort and safety within their office. This year, more than most, we have to remember the hard work of the Penn High cleaning staff, who made sure that we were able to attend school in person all year long. But probably the most, in people we have to, the most important people we have to recognize up until this point in our lives are our parents. Or maybe it was an uncle, or a t teacher even, but someone, who, but someone who is a pillar of support, guidance, and unconditional love in your life. Due to their pivotal role that they've played in our lives, we can say that with certainty that our success is attributed to their assistance and influence. It's also important to acknowledge that we didn't all begin this journey at the same starting, starting line. Some of us had to work harder to catch up and keep up. Heck, some of us had to get out of the car and push it to the finish line. Along the way, we've also lost loved ones, mourned their passing, and found ways to move on together. We wish they could have made this journey with us, but their memory will live on through us as we continue on our next adventure, continuing to press on and find ways to thrive despite the hazards the road presents us with. It's called being resilient, and that is what we are. After reflecting on all the tough experiences we have gone through, it would be impossible to deliver this speech without addressing one specific obstacle. We are pretty sure you would rather us not speak on the matter, so we won't. Instead, we will look through the rear view mirror and discuss the arrival and continued presence of 91 Divok. 91 Divok, of course, arrived in Canada in 2020. Most times when new things arrive, we are curious and a little excited. However, this time, we knew that when Divok joined us, it was nothing but that bad news, but we didn't know to what extent. Divok was greedy and relentless, snatching away much of what we cared for, much of what made life as a high school student fun. There was no escaping Divok. Divok was everywhere. Yet Divok's master plan for total domination was ultimately foiled. Divok may have been able to separate our bodies, but he could not separate our hearts, and that was our greatest strength. If we have learned anything from our trip with Divok, is that there is no obstacle that cannot be surmounted by care and connection. Although many see this year as a travesty, I think that would be an injustice to the resiliency and the strength of character that we have all developed over this past year, and which will serve us well into whatever future awaits. Yes, and the future is here. The future, it's now. Our next trip we are about to head on is right before us. We are about to jump into another car and head off to university, trade school, Europe, college. Your parents' basement? Who really knows? Either way, this is a pivotal moment in our lives because for the first time, our parents and guardians are no longer the backseat drivers. We are now the sole conductors at the wheel and interpreters of the map. And on our trip, wrong turns are bound to happen. That's life. But any wrong turn can be made right if we can learn from it and grow. In some cases, what looked like a wrong turn ends up creating a new opportunity, leading to a wonderful new destination that would not have been discovered otherwise. Also, no need for speed. If you speed, you'll miss out on the scenery. And life, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Oh, geez, that's cheesy. But it's true. But back to how we started this speech. Ella, do you now know where you're going? No. But frankly... I don't really think I care. The other day, I was driving into town, and as I came to the intersection of Eckhart and Government, I sat watching the light turn from red, to green, to yellow, and back to red again, and I had this thought. I thought to myself, is life nothing more than a bunch of honking and swearing? Wait, you watched the light turn from red to green, back to red? Ella, they were honking and swearing at you. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I guess, but I had, I had another thought. I thought we could end this speech with a number of worn-out cliches, like march to the beat of your own drum, take the road less traveled by. However, the irony would be so apparent. We would be telling you to assert your individuality while not asserting your own. So to end, I will simply say this. Whatever road you find yourself traveling on is one that you have chosen, one that reflects your values, your dreams, your understanding of what it means to lead a good life. For this will serve as your compass. And so long as you have your compass 
and you are in the driver's seat, you'll never be lost. We would like to congratulate all of you for making it to this destination and staying resilient through the last difficult stretch. I think I speak for everyone when we say that we are proud to call you our classmates. We wish you all the best on your next adventure, and we hope to see you somewhere down the road. <laughs> Thank you, Ella and Matthew. In recognition of your contribution to our convocation ceremony, we have a gift from the staff of Penticton Secondary. We will now begin the presentation of scrolls. Each graduate will cross the stage and commemorate their graduation by flipping their tassel from right to left. As well, any bursaries or scholarships received from the Penticton Bursary and Scholarship Society will be shared on the screen while the staff grad reader shares a personal anecdote for each grad. Marty Anchez. Marty enjoyed playing hockey and lacrosse with his friends. He plans to move to Mexico, study business, and then travel around the world. He sees himself selling exotic, high-end import cars. His favorite memories from Penn High were the projects he made in Mr. Prothero's class. He would like to thank his family for their support, Ms. Libby for her help, and Ms. Marsh for her kindness. Josh Adams. Josh plans to stay in Penticton, save money and work on his car. In the future, he plans to drive a truck for Canada Waste Connections. His favorite memories from Penn High were the Core 10 program and driving the mini Zamboni with Mr. Morgan. Josh would like to thank his mom and dad for their support and his teachers, especially Mr. Nicholson and Mr. Fraze for helping him achieve graduation. Giles Alderleeston. Giles plans to take a year off of school and have fun while figuring out what he plans to do as a career. He would like to work with technology, possibly as a video editor. His memorable moments at PSS were lunch with the boys. He would like to thank Mr. Bond for being a great teacher and making his class exciting. Noshka Alejandro. Noshka plans to attend Okanagan College and obtain a Bachelor of Business. At Penn High, she enjoyed her cafeteria and media design classes and participating in the 10,000 Tonight food drive. Noshka would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for helping and supporting her throughout high school. She would especially like to thank Mrs. Maltese for her guidance as she adjusted to her new life in Canada. Chloe Alex. Chloe enjoyed playing basketball at Penn High. She plans to attend Thompson Rivers University to study business. She would like to thank Mr. Dillon and Mr. Cook for their support and encouragement, and Mr. Bernie and Mr. Belbin for creating fun lessons. Amir Alhamwi. Amir plans to attend UBCO and study electrical engineering. At Penn High, he enjoyed the soccer tournament with teachers versus students, weight training class, and chemistry labs. He would like to thank Mrs. Cornet Ching for helping him apply to university and complete his graduation requirements. <laughs> McGarry Allen. McGarry plans to attend UVic to study geography. In the future, he hopes to become a lawyer. 
His favorite memories from Penn High were the Bamfield trip and lunches with his friends. He would like to thank his family and friends for their love and support, as well as Mr. DeLille, Mr. Harkness, and Mr. Keckley for all their hard work and commitment to teaching. Zach Annette. Zach plans to attend TRU to study computer science and play college baseball. His favorite activities at Penn High were designing a t-shirt logo for the Penn High Climbing Club, track and field, and weight training. One of his memorable moments was singing with his friends in the bathroom. Zach would like to thank his parents, family, and friends for always believing in him and Mr. Dietrich for his passion for learning. It was contagious and inspiring. Destiny Anthony. Destiny likes spending time with her friends at Penn High. She plans to work and spend time with her family after she graduates. In the future, she sees herself becoming an art teacher. Destiny would like to thank Mr. Fraze and Mr. Nicholson for helping her complete her graduation requirements. Brandon Apolzer Gill. Brandon plans to work, live at home, and enjoy a relaxing year. He would like to thank his teachers for helping him graduate high school. He would especially like to thank Mr. Arcuri for always keeping his lessons engaging, Mrs. Collins for being super understanding and patient, and Mrs. Reed for her continued support. Lene Arcand. Lene plans to attend TRU or UBC to pursue a nursing degree. In 10 years, she sees herself completing her master's in nursing. Lene especially enjoyed biology class at Penn High and would like to thank Mr. Harkness for his enthusiasm and support. Sebastian Arsenault. Sebastian plans to go where the wind takes him. He hopes to create a band, play the bass, tour the world, and just maybe make some money living his dream. Sebastian would like to thank his friends and family for their support. He would like to specifically thank Mr. Jagger, Mr. Nicholson, and Ms. Richter for helping him achieve graduation and for being there along the way. Trent Ashby. Trent enjoyed his mechanics and metalwork classes at Penn High. After graduation, he plans to work. His memorable moments in high school were working on his car in mechanics class. He would like to thank Mr. Prothero and Mr. Allenson for their support. He would also like to congratulate his fellow peers on achieving graduation. Kayla Eau Claire. Kayla's future plans include working, traveling, attending massage therapy school, and study sports medicine. Her favorite activity at Penn High was helping with teens, toys for tots to teens. Kayla would like to thank the staff at Penn High and her parents for encouraging her to do her best and for always being there when she needed them. Quinn Audette. A few years ago, Quinn had no idea where he was going. Now he realizes that he is going where everyone else is, forward. Quinn is eternally grateful that his teachers gave him their support and the opportunity to grow, and he wishes all his peers the best of luck. Some of us will need it. <laughs> Malia Barker. Malia is passionate about dance and enjoyed all her dance classes. She is planning on taking a gap year and working full time at Theo's restaurant. She would also like to venture out on mini road trips with her friends. In 10 years, she sees herself being very successful and helping people. Malia would like to thank 
the teachers that have helped her succeed, and her parents for being her biggest supporter. Joel Barton. Joel participated in the OHA program. After graduation, Joel will be playing hockey in trail for the Trail Smoke Eaters and eventually plans to pursue a career in law as a corporate lawyer. Joel enjoyed the Toys for Tots to Teens and the Be Kind initiatives at Penn High. He would like to thank Mrs. Collins for giving him new perspectives and for making English 12 enjoyable. Maya Basso. Maya was involved in various activities at Penn High, such as the Global Awareness Club, Mental Health Club, and Leadership. She also attended provincials for both competitive gymnastics and track and field. Maya plans to obtain a Bachelor of Science and pursue a career in healthcare. Her favorite memories were the time spent with her friends. She would like to thank her amazing family for their continuous support and guidance, and her teachers for their diligence and leadership. Destiny Bautista. Destiny's highlights from Penn High were participating in the OHA program and spending time with her friends. She plans to continue playing hockey and attending State University of New York at Cortland to study biomedical sciences. She would like to thank her family and her teachers, especially Mrs. Anderson for her compassion and Mr. Nakoni for his guidance. Nathan Brigantum. At Penn High, Nathan enjoyed learning about survival skills and extreme temperatures in his outdoor rec class. He plans to focus on his goals for his future, work, save money, and buy a place to raise a family. His favorite memory at PSS was going up Carmi and roasting marshmallows. Nathan would like to thank Mr. Fraze and Ms. Val because they always supported him when he needed them. Nate Bergen. Nate plans to study at the BP Aviation School in Penticton and eventually fly airplanes for a Canadian company. Nate's memorable moments at PSS were meeting new people from his classes. He would like to thank Ms. Richter for her help with course selection and early graduation. He would also like to acknowledge Mr. Reed for accepting the bet of who could wear shorts the longest throughout the winter. Angus Buse. Angus will be going to UVic to study computer science, where he hopes to enroll in a co-op program and gain experience in his field. Angus would like to thank his family, especially his parents, for their support, and his friends for making school more enjoyable. He would also like to thank Mr. Reed, Mr. Gao, and Mrs. Stell for their passion and commitment to learning. Devin Byer. Devin has been training to compete and succeed in MMA for the last four years and can't wait for COVID to be over so he can put his skills to the test in real competition. Devin's favorite memory of Penn High were his trips to Tim's with Dom, and he would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for all their support and encouragement. He would also like to say a big thank you to Mr. Anderson, Mr. Fraze, and Ms. Richter for all their help. Dante Big Eagle. Dante liked participating in the Indigenous cultural activities at Penn High. He plans to work, save money, and one day travel the world. He would like to thank Mr. Nicholson, Mrs. Watson, Ms. Richter, and Mrs. Stevens for their support in helping him graduate. Skylar Blattner. Skylar enjoyed being part of the OHA community. She plans to attend the University of Hawaii and will be majoring in biology and minoring in biomedical sciences. In the future, she sees herself becoming a pediatrician and having a positive impact on children's lives. Skylar would like to thank Mr. Nakoni for all his help and support and Mr. Harkness for making biology so much fun and helping her reach her greatest potential. She would also like to thank her parents for always being there for her. Wyatt Bogle. Wyatt plans to work and save money for post-secondary. In the future, he would like to complete his degree and have a career that brings him happiness. 
His favorite memories from Penn High were the time he spent with his friends. He's excited to be graduating today. He would like to thank his mother and father for their love and support, as well as Mr. Nicholson for his encouragement and mentorship. Sarah Bond. Sarah was a member of the Penn High swim team, the Kisu Swim Academy, and is now a Kisu coach. She also enjoyed being part of the Dissection Club and Pottery Club. Sarah plans to attend UBC to study sciences and pursue a career in the medical field. Her favorite memory from PSS was going to Iceland in grade 10. Sarah would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers for helping her achieve her graduation. Nick Barassa Iannone. Nick's PSS highlight was attending the band trip to Calgary. He plans to attend the University of Saskatchewan to study computer science and hopes to one day work in a programming job and support his family. His favorite memory at Penn High was meeting his girlfriend. Nick would like to thank Mr. Gao for making learning fun and relatable. <laughs> Kelly Burke. Kelly's future plans are to study optometry and venture out on a long road trip. Her favorite memories are hanging out with friends, science classes, and the cafeteria's cookies. She would like to thank her family and friends, as well as all of her teachers, for their support and kindness. Dayton Bowden. Dayton enjoyed his time amongst his peers in the theater program from grade 9 to grade 11 at Penn High. He is grateful for the time and support that Mr. Knudsen and Mr. Glibbery gave him over the years. He would also like to thank Mrs. Stevens and Ms. Richter for their kindness and encouragement. Conrad Briar Dick. During high school, Conrad enjoyed the hundreds of hours he spent working for the Penticton Vs. Next year, he will be attending the Wildlife and Fisheries Program at UNBC. In the future, he would like to be flying helicopters over remote places in Alaska. Conrad would like to thank his mom and family for helping him achieve his graduation and his teachers for inspiring him to do his best. In particular, Mr. Harkness for making class fun and meaningful. Celeste Brill. Celeste plans to go to the University of Alberta to study linguistics and anthropology. In the next 10 years, she hopes to be teaching English abroad or working as a speech language pathologist. Her favorite memories at Penn High were making lifelong friends and attending the winter, winter formal in 2019. Celeste would like to thank all the administrators for their continued resilience through the pandemic and the ABED teachers for their continued support. Her memorable teachers are Mrs. Anderson, Mrs. Libby, Mr. Keckley, and Mr. Harkness. All have made her feel welcome in class, taught her important life skills, and allowed her to discover her passions. Matthew Broder. Matthew has been involved in various leadership activities at Penn High, including the grad spaghetti dinner, toys for tots to teens, and the Remembrance Day ceremony. He plans to study environmental science or forestry and one day be the Lorax and speak for the well-being of trees. Matthew would like to thank Mr. DeLille for teaching him to properly take notes, Mr. Carrier, his grade three teacher, for teaching him to enjoy math, and Mr. Harkness for making plants interesting. He would also like to thank his parents, coaches, and friends who have helped him get to where he wants to go. Michael Campbell. Michael plans to complete his apprenticeship as an HVAC tech and will either stay in Penticton with his family or move to Burnaby with his sister. In 10 years, he sees himself working in either politics or HVAC. Michael has fond memories of jazz band and helping with the Smash tournament last year. He would like to thank his friends for making school more enjoyable. He would also like to thank Mr. Glibbery for his passion for teaching. Dylan Cap. Dylan plans to attend the Blanche McDonald Center in Vancouver to study special effects makeup artistry. 
At PSS, Dylan enjoyed playing basketball and going to provincials in grade nine. She also enjoyed creating special bonds with teammates that she will cherish forever. Dylan would like to thank her mom for constantly supporting her and helping her through the past 18 years. She's grateful to have so much love and encouragement and would not be who she is today if it wasn't for her mother. She would also like to thank Mrs. Kildaw for just keeping things real. Natalie Carrier. Natalie has fond memories of the Penn High pep rallies and the winter formal. She is planning to attend university to study general sciences or interior design. Natalie would like to thank all of her teachers, especially Mr. Harkness, because he always puts his students first and won't stop until they achieve their goals. Marley Caruso. Marley was a passionate member of the Penn High swim team and competed at provincials, winning three years in a row. She will be attending the University of Calgary to earn her nursing degree. In the future, she hopes to travel around the world as a nurse, helping those in need. She would like to thank all of her science teachers for making science fun and her favorite subject in high school. Evan Carvello. Evan enjoyed taking his culinary art courses at Penn High. Next year, he plans to work at Earl's Restaurant and then see where things take him. In the future, he plans to become a software engineer, a computer programmer, or a chef. He is still undecided on his career path. Evan would like to thank Ms. Richter for helping him achieve his graduation requirements. Daniel Chandler. Daniel plans to work next year and save money. In the future, he would like to do some traveling and work in Taiwan. His favorite memories at Penn High were the outdoor rec activities. He would like to thank his parents and his teachers for their support. He would especially like to thank Mr. Fraze for his insightful conversations, kindnesses, and for creating a welcoming atmosphere. Clayton Charette Leslie. Clayton participated in the work experience program at Penn High. He plans to explore his creative side and market some of his innovative ideas. He would like to thank his family, friends, and the staff at Penn High for their support and help in all of his achievements. Sydney Clark. Sydney plans to attend post-secondary school to study sciences. She has fond memories of Penn High and would like to thank her family and friends for their encouragement and her teachers for their support in her learning. She would like to congratulate her graduating class of 2021. <laughs> Michaela Cobb. Michaela has fond memories of participating in the Rotary Youth Exchange and living in the Czech Republic, as well as having fun with her friends during class time. She plans to attend UBC or Okanagan College to study law. In the future, she sees herself traveling the world and working her dream job. She would like to thank Mrs. Collins for her individualized teaching, support, and commitment to making learning engaging, and Ms. Sandum for all of her advice on life. Sophia Coburn. Sophia enjoyed her dance classes at the Okanagan Dance Studios. She plans to stay in Penticton and study biology. In the future, she hopes to have a career she is passionate about and travel the world. Her favorite memory from Penn High was making new friends. Sophia would like to thank Mr. Knudsen for helping her overcome her fear of public speaking. Chloe Coffin. At Penn High, Chloe was involved in numerous activities, including the Dry Grad Spaghetti Dinner, 10,000 Tonight, and the Remembrance Day Ceremony. Her favorite memory from Penn High was the band geek boogies after every band performance. Chloe plans to attend UBCO and major in general studies and eventually become a teacher. In 10 years, she sees herself with a steady job, owning her own home with a cat, and pursuing her passion for music. Chloe would like to thank Mr. Glibbery for his encouragement and for giving her opportunities to improve as a musician. Alex Collier. Alex plans to study aerospace engineering at the University of Toronto 
and hopefully work for NASA. His memorable moment at Penn High was telling Mr. Arcuri, <laughs> telling Mr. Arcuri about all of the weekday powder days he had missed. Alex enjoys participating in the dodgeball intramurals. He would like to thank his brother Chad for always motivating him to be better and Mr. Gao for making math fun. Chad Collier. Chad plans to attend university in Calgary to study neuroscience or university in Edmonton to study engineering. His future plans are to play spike ball in the Bahamas with his friends or skiing around the world. His highlights from Penn High were spending time in the grad lounge, competing, completing the AP calculus exam, and playing spike ball with the boys. Chad would like to thank his family for their support and Mr. Arcuri for his genuine and amusing jokes and Mr. Harkness for adopting the hermit crabs, Uzi and P2 as class pets. Remy Combray. Remy plans to continue with post-secondary education and a focus on Indigenous studies. He has fond memories from Penn High and would like to congratulate his fellow peers for achieving graduation. He would like to thank Mr. Yeager and Mr. Knudsen for their continued support and guidance in his learning. Serena Cooper. Serena is planning to move to Egypt to live with her mom and stepdad and attend university. Serena enjoyed her BC First Peoples course and her math class with Ms. Libby. She would like to thank Ms. Libby and Ms. Bricolo for their passion for teaching and making class engaging. Kyra Cooper. Ky Kyra is planning to obtain a degree in English and eventually become an English teacher. She enjoyed participating in her theater, band, and improv classes. Her favorite memory at Penn High was attending the band trip in grade 10. Kyra would like to thank Mr. Knudsen and Mr. Glibbery for giving her a creative outlet and for making school exciting each day. She would also like to thank Mr. Keckley for helping her realize what she wanted to do with her life. Shay Coots. Shay will be attending UBC in Vancouver to study psychology. In the future, she plans to earn a master's and possibly a doctorate degree. Shay played volleyball at Penn High and was the team captain in grade 10. Her favorite high school memory was when she and her friends dressed as guys for an assignment in socials class. She would like to thank Mr. DeLille for challenging her and teaching her diligence. She would also like to thank Mrs. Everton, Mr. Waterman, Mr. Harkness, and Ms. Richter for their kindness and support. Phelan Covert. Phelan is planning to attend university to study engineering. He enjoyed playing rugby at Penn High and the time he spent with his friends. He would like to thank his family and teachers, especially Mr. Gao, for his passion for teaching. Dylan Crawford. Dylan has fond memories of participating in the jazz band concerts and going skating for his physics labs. He plans to become a mechanical engineer and in the future would like to be building electric bikes and cars for his own business. He would like to thank Mr. Dietrich for his passion for science. Felicia Cross. Felicia plans to attend college in Abbotsford and in the future would like to work with children. At Penn High, she has fond memories of hanging out with her friends during lunch. Her favorite activity was making a collage picture for the grade 12 basketball team. She would like to thank Miss Libby for being an awesome math teacher. Isabella Cumming. Isabella competed with the Penn High swim team at both regionals and provincials during grade nine. In the future, she plans to work, save money, and possibly travel. Her favorite memory at Penn High was watching the basketball games and the pep rallies. Isabella would like to thank her grandparents and her teachers for getting her to where she is today. Hi, Cutler. Kai is excited to be graduating this year. He plans to attend TRU to become a certified electrician. In the future, he would like to wire houses. 
Kai would like to thank Mr. Gunning for all of his support. Grace Dalrymple. Grace enjoyed participating in the Dissection Club at Penn High. She plans to take a gap year and explore her passions and interests so that she can pursue a career she enjoys. She would like to thank Mr. Kupek for creating a unique classroom experience and for making learning more enjoyable. Angelina Davidson. Angelina enjoyed her cafeteria classes and all the wholesome people she met and had a good laugh with at Penn High. She hopes to study criminology in Canada and then return to Taiwan to attend university. In 10 years, Angelina hopes to own a rooftop apartment smack dab in a cool city and living her best life, where she is successful and surrounded by people that make her happy. She would like to thank her dad for always supporting and motivating her to continue moving forward, even through tough times. Angelina would also like to thank Mr. Nakoni for helping her achieve graduation and for all his support throughout high school. Ben Davidson. Ben enjoyed participating in the swim academy, lifeguarding, beekeeping, skiing, and working at the Dominion Radio Astrophysical Observatory. His favorite memory was placing second at the high school swimming provincials. He plans to attend UBC to study kinesiology and pursue a career in medicine one day. Ben would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for helping him achieve graduation. Spencer Davis. Spencer enjoyed playing hockey and spending his lunch breaks with friends. He plans to attend UBCO or Okanagan College to study computer science. In the future, he hopes to be designing video games or websites. Spencer would like to thank his family and friends for their support, and Ms. Collins and Mr. Arcuri for making learning fun and interesting. Audrey Dawson. Audrey plans to move to Halifax, live near her sister, and study business at Dalhousie University. In the future, she hopes to marry a rich man. Her favorite memories were spending time with her friends. She would like to thank Patrick Kingston for showing her that everybody makes mistakes and that it is okay to cry. Jade Dacos. Jade has fond memories of her AP classes, painting endless amounts of ceiling tiles for Mr. Cook, and making Mr. Knudsen laugh at her amazing acting skills. She will be moving to Brandon, Manitoba to attend university and obtain a degree in science. In the future, she plans to become a dentist. Jade would like to thank Mr. Waterman for his outstanding methods of teaching. He is always accepting of student ideas and made biology cool and fun to learn. J.C. Dole. In the future, Jace would let plans to work, save money, travel, and be living her best life. She has good memories of hanging out in Mr. Nicholson's room. She would like to thank Mr. Nicholson, Ms. Reed, and Mr. Fraze for their humor, support, and for always having her back. Dominic DeLille Lavoie. Dominic's memorable moments at Penn High were helping with toys for tots to teens and lunches at Spencer's house. He is planning to attend Concordia University to study business and play baseball there. In 10 years, he hopes to be a corporate lawyer working at a top law firm. Dominic would like to thank his parents for their support and Ms. Collins for helping him complete English and making it fun. Paige Denton. Paige will be attending UBC to study sciences. In the future, she plans to travel and live a life of luxury. Her memorable moments at Penn High were meeting so many amazing friends and taking the leadership course in grades 9 through 11. Paige would like to thank her friends and family for motivating her and encouraging her to do her best. Alison Desjardins. Allison plans to stay local and work to save money. She hopes to do some traveling and experience life around the world. 
In the future, she plans to work in a career she loves. Allison is excited to be graduating today and would like to thank her family and friends for their support, as well as give a big thank you to Mr. Nicholson and Ms. Richter for believing in her. Julia DeVito. Julia will be taking a year off and then attending UBCO. She has fond memories of playing on the junior basketball team, 10,000 tonight, and leaving to buy pizza during her lunch breaks in grade nine. Julia would like to thank her family for their encouragement, as well as her middle school teachers, Mr. Hurd, Mr. Kennedy, and Mr. Epp for all their support and guidance. Quinn Disher. At Penn High, Quinn enjoyed his involvement in both the Kidney Walk and the Toys for Tots to Teens. He plans to continue playing hockey and hopefully next year playing in the NCAA. Quinn would also like to take some courses online. In 10 years, he sees himself as having a steady career, a wife, and maybe even being a father. His favorite memory at Penn High was being part of the positive school atmosphere during the basketball games. Quinn would like to thank his parents. Without them, none of this would be possible. Lillian Doe. Lillian plans to attend UBC and possibly study commerce. In the future, she plans to work to pay off her student loans, as well as be financially stable and happy with her life. Her memorable moments at Penn High were crepe day in French class and experiencing the horrific ordeal of taking an AP exam with her friends. Lillian would like to thank Mrs. Stell for her upbeat attitude, positive energy, and support and advice on life. Riley Dussault. Riley intends to take a year off to travel and see the world. She plans to explore her interests and passions and see what the future holds. She would like to thank her family, friends, and Ms. Richter for all their support and encouragement. Cohen Dick. Cohen's memorable activities at Penn High were helping with the Remembrance Day video and the grad spaghetti dinner. He enjoyed volleyball, robotics, and jazz band. Cohen also liked meeting, practicing, and performing with his cover band, Sudbury Beach. He plans on studying engineering at university. In 10 years, Cohen would like to be working at whatever job makes him happy and continue to pursue his passions in life. He would like to thank the Penn High staff for their continued support and help over the past four years. Danica Edwards. Danica plans to study elementary education at UVic and then teach English abroad in the future. Her favorite part of Penn High was spending time with her friends. She would like to thank her friends, family, and teachers for all the incredible support over the years. Ella Ingen. Ella will be taking a year off to work and travel and then she will be attending the University of Calgary for business. Ella would like to thank Mr. Brote for putting up with her for the past four years and for teaching her not only drafting and metalwork, but also about important life skills. She would also like to thank her family and friends for supporting her and always being there. Alyssa Earhart. Alyssa participated in the OHA program for three years. She plans to play hockey at the college or university level while attending school. In 10 years, she hopes to be, have been able to travel and experience the world. Alyssa's favorite high school memory was in her Law 12 class when she was able to tackle and arrest a classmate. She would like to thank her mom, Rhonda, for being her rock and support system, Mr. Wingham for allowing Bella to be her support dog, her brother, Carson, for always making her laugh, her hockey coaches for their support, her dad for all his hockey advice, and finally, Gibby for always making her laugh. J. 
Jake Erickson. Jake will be attending the University of Calgary to achieve optimal intelligence. He had the pleasure of playing on the greatest basketball team ever to grace Penn High soil. His favorite memories were playing basketball every day and playing for the senior boys basketball team. Jake would like to thank his mom and dad, his friends and girlfriend, also Mr. McGrady for shaping him into the student he is today, and most importantly, Mr. Dillon for showing him the love of basketball. Adairin Sala Ariomo. Adairin Sala will be attending university to study biomedical science. In the future, she hopes to be working in a career she loves and living her best life. She would like to thank her family for their support and all of her teachers for the special role they played in shaping her life. Zach Ivanoff. At Penn High, Zach enjoyed playing on the golf team and participating in debates during law class. He also helped support the Toys for Tots to Teens fundraiser. His favorite or his future plans involve becoming a firefighter, golfing, and traveling the world. He would like to thank Mr. Nicconi and Mr. Belbum because he could always talk to them about anything. Camilla Ferrari. After graduation, Camilla will be going to Italy for a year. In 10 years, she hopes she has found her dream job, and if not, she hopes to be taking care of her family. She has great memories of the awesome field trips at Penn High. Camilla would like to thank Mrs. Watson because she was always there to help her and ensure she was doing well in all of her classes. Justin Fotherby. Justin was part of the Penn High Lakers provincial swim team multiple years in a row, and he has fond memories of his swimming achievements. He will be attending UBC to further his academics and his swimming career. Justin would like to thank his parents, brothers, friends, and both Mr. Heinrich and Mr. Gao for not making physics class boring. Marlise Fox. Marlise plans to move to Vancouver to pursue her education. In the future, she plans to be making money and living the dream. Her favorite memories at Penn High were making so many friends and having many memorable moments with them. Marlise would like to thank all of her teachers for helping her graduate today. Liam Fullard. Liam enjoyed participating in robotics and forensics. He plans to attend the University of Toronto and study pre-med. In the future, he hopes to become a surgeon. He would like to thank Mr. Harkness for his positive personality and motivational lessons, and Mr. Gal for his humor, energy, and passion for teaching. Ashley Gagno. Ashley really enjoyed her foods classes, the Toys for Tots to Teens fundraiser, and participating in the bag lunch program. She plans to upgrade her schooling so that she can become a senior care worker or early childhood educator and work with special needs children. Ashley's favorite moments at Penn High were spending time in Mrs. Postlewaite's room and snuggling with her dog, Ellie. She would like to thank her parents for their encouragement. Ashley would also like to thank her teachers and CEAs for their effort and support for her learning. Thanks for the best high school years ever. Atlan Ganji. Atlan played in the OHA program. Her favorite activities at Penn High were the Toys for Tots to Teens and the 10,000 Tonight fundraisers. In 10 years, she sees herself managing her own company successfully while making a name for herself in the process. She has fond memories of her teacher's dedication to helping her learn new and important things every day. Atlan would like to thank her parents, coaches, and friends. She would also like to thank Mrs. West for helping her whenever she needed it and encouraging her to learn new things. Michaela Ganji. Michaela was part of the OHA program and is moving to the U.S. to continue playing hockey and attend State University of New York in Morrisville. 
In 10 years, she sees herself being a part of a sports community and working in multiple fields of work. Michaela's favorite moments at Penn High were walking in the track and soaking up the sunshine. Hayden General. Hayden enjoyed playing on the Penn High basketball team, especially in grade 10 when the team was almost undefeated. He plans to coach basketball for Lake City and hopefully coach college basketball one day. Hayden would like to thank all of his friends for helping him through the highs and lows of high school and his coach, Mr. Dillon, for motivating him to be better every day. Wesley Girk. Wes is excited to be graduating today. He discovered a passion for building and rebuilding things during his time at Penn High. He particularly enjoyed his shop classes and would like to thank his shop teachers as well as his parents for all their support and encouragement. He is hoping to pursue the trades upon graduation and start his apprenticeship in steel fabrication. Brianna Godso. Brianna is planning to attend the University of Victoria to obtain a Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology. Ten years from now, she hopes to be an occupational therapist. Her favorite memory at Penn High was meeting John Garwa. She would like to thank Mr. Harkness and Mr. Gao for answering all of her endless questions and for always seeing her potential. I love it. Carson Green. Next year, Carson is hoping to go to trade school to become a machinist. He hopes to specialize in weaponry and at some point work on and fix guns. At Penn High, Carson enjoyed his time in the metal shop and hanging out with his friends. He would like to thank Mr. Nicholson and Ms. Richter for helping him get through and Ms. Collins for making English exciting. A special shout out goes to his mom for always being there. Kaya Hamaguchi Van Limbeck. Kaya enjoys wake surfing, playing lacrosse, and hanging out with her friends and family. She plans to attend Okanagan College and then transfer to TRU to study social sciences or elementary education. Kaya would like to thank her parents and the staff at Penn High for all their support and encouragement. Jocelyn Hannon. Jocelyn enjoyed playing basketball at Penn High. She plans to attend university and study kinesiology and become an athletic trainer. Her favorite memories from high school were playing basketball at Provincials in grade nine. She also enjoyed creating lifelong memories with new friends. Jocelyn would like to thank her mom and her nana for being her rock and supporting her for the past 17 years. They have helped shape her into the person she is today and she is truly grateful for that. Taylor Hansen. Taylor enjoyed participating in musical theater and choir. She plans to pursue lifeguarding to save some money for college and then study nursing. Her favorite memories from Penn High were being on stage and performing. She would like to thank her family and loved ones for their support. She would also like to thank Mr. Harkness for making biology fun and for teaching her a valuable study skills. Can you start coming? Dixon Harden. Dixon is happy to be a Penn High grad this year. He plans to explore his interests and see what the future holds for him. He would like to thank his family and teachers for all their support. Most importantly, Dixon would like to thank Mrs. Nienaber for always going the extra mile and helping him achieve success. Emmett Harries. Emmett plans to attend UBC to study psychology and become a clinical psychologist. In 10 years, he would like to be living in New Zealand, enjoying his career. Emmett is a great problem solver and liked creating a tape dispenser roll using the 3D printer in the drafting class. He would like to thank Mr. Harkness, Mr. Brote, and Mr. Belbin for being positive influences in his life and for helping him become the person he is today. 
Hunter Harwood. Hunter is an avid hockey player and was in the OHA program for the past four years. He plans to play junior hockey and sees himself playing overseas in the future. His favorite memories from Penn High were the Grad Spirit Week activities. He would like to thank his family and coaches for their encouragement. He would also like to sincerely thank Mrs. West for all the extra math help and support for his learning. <laughs> Maxwell Hawthorne. <laughs> Max will continue working and complete his mechanic apprenticeship. He plans to earn his Red Seal certification. His favorite memory at Penn High was when he got the mechanical boot lock attached to his truck for not having a valid parking pass. <laughs> he would like to thank Mr. Nakoni for helping him complete his graduation requirements and graduate early. Tyrone Hayward. Tyrone plans to enroll in the electrical apprenticeship program and become an electrician. He would like to obtain a career working in the green energy sector. Tyrone came to Penn High for just his grad year and would like to acknowledge and thank his former teacher from the Sunshine Coast, Mr. Stoddard, who taught him how to tell a story. Richter Heinz. Richter was an avid basketball player at Penn High. He especially enjoyed playing in front of both schools at cross country, or cross city, sorry. One of his least favorite memories was having his classes on Zoom. He plans to attend university to earn a Bachelor of Commerce degree. Richter would like to thank his parents and all of his teachers who have helped him to get there, get where he is today. Especially Mr. Belbum for always encouraging debates and thoughtful discussions. Madison Helm. Madison played field hockey at Penn High and was involved in musical theater and co-chairing We For She. Her favorite memories are performing in Guys and Dolls and playing in field hockey tournaments. Madison would like to thank her parents for teaching her to keep her standards high. She would also like to thank Mr. Glibbery and Mr. Knutson for encouraging her out of her comfort zone. Finally, she would like to thank Mrs. Boxel for helping her find her passion for the sciences and motivating her to do her best. Faith Henderson. Faith was involved in dance and spent most of her free time at the dance studio. This fall, she will be moving to Toronto to study fashion communication and design at Ryerson University. In 10 years, she sees herself living in Paris with her cat and having a career in the fashion industry. Her favorite memory from Penn High is this moment now, Aww. as she crosses the stage to receive her diploma. Faith would like to thank Mr. Yeager for being supportive and always providing her new opportunities to grow as a person. Vanessa Herman. Vanessa enjoyed playing on the Penn High basketball team and leadership activities, including the Terry Fox Run, 10,000 Tonight, Toys for Tots to Teens, Kindness Week, and the Cross City Games. In the future, she plans to travel the world and make some money. Vanessa would like to thank her mom, dad, and sisters for helping her achieve graduation. She would also like to thank Mr. Belbin for his kindness and thoughtful teaching. Emma Hewitt. Emma's favorite memories at Penn High were meeting and spending time with her friends. She is taking a gap year and will possibly pursue a career in chemistry. In 10 years, she sees herself living on an acreage and working with horses. Emma would like to thank her family for supporting her and encouraging her to become a better person. She would also like to thank Mr. Keckley for his encouragement and passion for teaching and Mr. R. Curie for his unique teaching style and inspiration. Stephanie Hickson. Stephanie played on the rugby team and has fond memories of the many laughs she had during her grade 12 year. She is grateful for the people she met who became more than just friends. They became her family. She plans to take a gap year and work and then explore her interests and see what the future holds. Stephanie would like to thank her family for their support and motivation and her teachers for their encouragement. 
Tegan Holinati. Tegan plans to take a gap year and travel to Kona, Hawaii. She would like to thank her friends and teacher for making the past four years so memorable. She would especially like to thank Mr. Gao for making physics so enjoyable, Mr. Keckley for creating a love of English, and Mr. Arcuri for his kind-hearted humor. Jackson Holmes. Jackson played in the OHA program for the past three years. He plans to play junior hockey and in the future would like to take over the family business. His favorite memory from Penn High was Grad Spirit Week. He would like to thank his family, coaches, and teachers for all their encouragement in helping him achieve success. Clayton Howard. Clayton plans to work and save some money. In the future, he would like to explore his passion for music and find a career he enjoys. His favorite memory from high school was chilling at the spot. He would like to thank his family and teachers for their support, and especially Mr. Dillon for buying him and his friends pizza. Jaden Hughes. Jaden plans to attend Okanagan College and complete the electrical apprenticeship program. In the future, he sees himself working as an electrician, living in downtown Vancouver. His favorite memories from Penn High were spending time with his friends. He would like to thank his family and friends for their support and all of his teachers for their encouragement over the past four years. Harmon Laser Hume. Harmon played hockey in the OHA program. He plans to play junior A hockey in Canada or in the NAHL in the United States and eventually play professional hockey. He would like to thank Mr. Nakoni for all his help and for making it possible for him to graduate from Penn High. He would also like to thank his mom and dad for being so supportive and giving him the opportunity to play at OHA and to follow his dream to become a professional hockey player. Caitlin Inez. Caitlin enjoyed participating in soccer and developing her leadership skills at Penn High. Her favorite memory from high school was meeting new friends. She plans to travel next year and then attend school to study early childhood education. Caitlin would like to thank her friends and family for their support and her favorite teacher, Mr. Cook. Logan Eisted. Logan enjoyed his Core 10 program with Mr. Hyde and Mrs. Reed and has great memories of meeting new people at Penn High. Logan plans to continue working at a restaurant in town and see what the future brings. In 10 years, he sees himself having a happy and successful life. He would like to thank his family for their support and Mr. Nicholson, Mrs. Reed, and Mr. Hyde for all their help. Michaela Eisted. Michaela participated in jazz band and enjoyed mastering new songs. Being in Mr. Glibbery's band class has given her an appreciation for music. Michaela would like to thank Mr. Glibbery for his dedication to teaching, Mr. Gao for making math relate to real life, and Mrs. Fichter for making science fun. Saul Jack. Saul is an avid rugby and basketball player and enjoyed playing on the Penn High teams. He also has fond memories of participating at the Cross City Games with his friends. Saul plans to attend university and play rugby. His future goals entail being a strength and conditioning coach for a sports team or playing pro rugby. He would like to thank Mr. Gunning, Mr. Nakoni, and Mr. Belomo for their motivation and commitment to teaching. He would also like to deeply thank his parents for being so supportive. Joe Jacina. After graduation, Joe plans to continue working and skateboarding. In the future, he would like to see where his sponsorship will take him and turn his passion for skateboarding into a career. Joe would like to thank his mom and dad for their love and support. He would also like to thank Mr. Fraze, Mr. Nicholson, and Mrs. Bird for their continued support and help over the past four years. Magnus Jeffrey. 
Magnus played hockey with the Okanagan Hockey Academy. He plans to continue playing with the Asuyas Coyotes and then attend post-secondary to study aerospace engineering. His favorite memories from Penn High were making lifelong friendships. He would like to thank his family for their support and Mr. Gao for making him fall in love with physics and calculus. Elizabeth Jones. Elizabeth will be attending nursing school at Red Deer College in the fall. Her favorite memory from high school was meeting her best friend in grade nine. She would like to thank her grandparents for all of their help and support in her French immersion classes. Elizabeth would like to thank Mr. DeLille for teaching her good study habits and Mrs. Stevens for her kindness and guidance through so many typical high school issues. Peyton George. Peyton is excited to be graduating and is not sure what the future holds for her. She would like to thank her family and friends for their support and her teachers for their encouragement. She would also like to congratulate the Penn High graduating class of 2021. Alex Jung. At Penn High, Alex was involved in the Penticton Provides campaign, the Remembrance Day video, and the Bell Let's Talk event. Her favorite moment from high school was spending time with her friends. She is planning to attend post-secondary to compete, complete sorry, a Bachelor of Science. In 10 years, she sees herself specializing in orthodontics or starting a new career based on her education. Alex would like to thank her family for always helping and supporting her. She would also like to thank Mr. Keckley, Mr. Waterman, and Mr. Gao for their kindness, thoughtful reference letters, and their overall commitment to student success. Rachel Zhang. Rachel will be attending McGill University to pursue a Bachelor of Engineering in Bioengineering. After that, she plans to attend dental or medical school for a career in healthcare. Her favorite activity, activities were the Global Awareness Club, Mental Health Club, 10,000 Tonight, Toys for Tots to Teens. Rachel's memorable moments from Penn High were stargazing in the Astronomy Club. She would like to thank her family for always supporting her and encouraging her to do her best. Her friends for making every moment great and all her teachers. She would especially like to thank Mr. Waterman, Mr. Gao, Mr. Harkness, and Mr. Keckley for their kindness, humor, and dedication to teaching. Tristan Campy. Tristan enjoyed meeting new people at Penn High. He is planning to study psychology. In 10 years, Tristan would like to be settling into his career and starting a family. Tristan would like to thank his parents and grandparents for making this possible, and his aunties who were always there whenever he felt lost. He would also like to thank Mrs. Stevens and Mr. Hyde for their continued help and support. Chelsea Keeler. Chelsea will be attending the University of Bath in the UK to earn her degree in international management and modern languages. She will also be swimming for the university's varsity team. Her memorable moments from Penn High were jazz band, being on the Penn High swim team, and winning the provincial championships each year. Chelsea would like to thank all her teachers, especially Mr. Gao. She loved the experiments in AP Physics and getting to fire the t-shirt cannon. Lauren Kilty. Lauren is a competitive dancer who has been involved in the dance program at Okanagan Dance Studios, attending provincials and participating in summer dance programs in Toronto and Vancouver. She plans to attend UBC to study medical laboratory science and eventually become a forensic pathologist. Lauren would like to thank her family for all their support and encouragement, her friends for all their caffeine-fueled cram sessions, and all her amazing teachers. She would especially like to thank Ms. Dunnett for her support and guidance. Daniel Killian. Daniel played rugby at Penn High and enjoyed being a volunteer coach for the team. He plans to attend Okanagan College and complete an apprenticeship in welding. In the future, he would like to own his own welding business with Cadence Code. He'd like to thank his family and friends for always supporting him. Daniel would like to thank Mr. French for telling him that will do, and Mr. Gunning for motivating him to do something when in the weight room. Gisla Killian. 
Gisla plans to attend UBCO to earn a Bachelor of Science degree and then pursue a career in optometry. She enjoyed participating in the mental health club and playing a variety of sports at Penn High. Her favorite memories were creating meaningful experiences with her friends. Gisla would like to thank Ms. Dunnett for always being there when she needed help making decisions or just to have a good chat. Jong Kim. Jong will be taking a gap year to explore his interests and figure out his plans for the future. He sees himself working in an enjoyable career and earning cash in the process. He would like to thank his family and teachers for their support and would like to congratulate his graduating class of 2021. Robin Kimmel. Robin plans to take a gap year and work to save some money. She would like to do some traveling, attend university, and buy a home in the near future. Robin enjoyed the grad activities, pep rallies, and spirit days at Penn High. She would like to thank Mrs. Watson for always encouraging her to do her best and for her continued support. Olivia Kincaid. Olivia enjoyed participating in the 10,000 Tonight fundraiser and seeing the impact it had on the community. Her favorite memories at Penn High were the pep rallies and the cross city volleyball games with her friends. Olivia is planning to attend university to study nursing. She would like to thank her mom for her continuous support and help. She would also like to thank Mr. Arcuri and Mr. Harkness for their positive outlook and for encouraging her to achieve her goals. Chelsea Klassen. Chelsea plans to attend UVic to study microbiology. She would like to enroll in the dermatology residency program after completing medical school. Chelsea played field hockey at Penn High and has great memories of the friendship she made throughout high school. She would like to thank her parents for always supporting her. Her most memorable teacher is Mr. Harkness because of his funny jokes during his lessons, which made learning easier and more fun. Elisha Klein. Elisha plans to continue working and save some money and then pursue a career in history or the military. His favorite memories from Penn High were his outdoor rec and PE classes. Elijah would like to thank his family and friends for their support, as well as Mr. Reed for his inspirational lessons and passion for teaching social studies. Caitlin Kowal. Caitlin was part of the swim program at Penn High. In the future, she plans to explore her passions and find a career that she enjoys. She would like to thank her mom for her support, her brother, for his sage advice, and her swim coaches for their encouragement. Rickson Kruger. Rickson's memorable moments were the Core 10 program. In the future, he hopes to have a successful career, own a home, and live a happy and healthy life. Rickson would like to thank his family for their love and support, he would also like to send a big thank you to Mr. Hyde, Mrs. Stevens, Mrs. Reed, and Mr. Nicholson for all of their encouragement and support. Tyrell Kruger. Tyrell plans to work for a construction company and complete the carpentry apprenticeship program. In the future, he would like to be a Red Seal certified. Tyrell has found memories of walking the hallways and shooting hoops in the gym, but his most significant activity at Penn High was playing rugby. And he would like to thank Mr. Nicholson and Mrs. Stevens for always motivating and supporting him during his four years of high school. Zach Keckley. Zach enjoyed participating in the Penticton Robotics Club and curling. His favorite memory from Penn High was winning the Curling Provincials in 2018. He will be attending Trinity Western University 
to earn his bachelor's in education. And in the future, he hopes to be living somewhere in BC, teaching middle school. Zach would like to thank all the people who supported him and encouraged him to do his best. He would also like to thank Mr. Harkness, his favorite teacher, for making class fun and for making biology enjoyable to learn. Tulabel Robido. Tulabel plans to work full time next year, do some traveling, and then attend college. In 10 years, she would like to be working in law enforcement. Her favorite memories from Penn High were meeting her friends. She would like to thank Mr. Jagger for his kindness and support since grade nine. She is grateful for all his help so she could meet her graduation requirements. Tian Larson. Tian attended Penn High only for grade 12 and enjoyed the Stride program. They plan to volunteer locally and be living a happy and healthy life working in the arts. Tian is excited to be graduating today and would like to thank their mother, friends, and teachers for all of their motivation and support. Josh LeBeau. Josh enjoyed his cafeteria classes, spending time with his friends, and meeting many international students at Penn High. He plans to study art at the Ed Salazar New World School of Art. In the future, Josh hopes to become an artist or an author. He would like to thank his family for their support, and Mrs. Dunnett, Miss Libby, and Mr. McNeil for their kindness and encouragement. Gage Leclerc. Gage is excited to be graduating today. He would like to thank all of the people who have supported him along the way, especially Mr. Fraze and Mr. Nicholson, who, without their help, he would not be here graduating today. Giobin Lee. Giobin is planning to move to Toronto next year. In the future, he sees himself employed and working from home. His favorite memories from Penn High were the egg toss and the cross city volleyball games. Giobin's most memorable teacher is Mr. Harkness because he adds humor to his lessons and makes learning fun. Ben LeFranc. Ben played hockey in the OHA program and recently played hockey in Prince George. His favorite memories from Penn High were the friends he made. He would like to thank his teachers and coaches for their support. Ben would also like to recognize and thank his parents for all of the sacrifices they have made in efforts to give him a brighter future. From enrolling him into the OHA program for four years to allowing him to leave home early, he will always remember their commitment to his success during high school. Brian Lease. Brian plans to work, save money, explore his interests, and eventually move out of his own. He hopes to be living a happy and healthy life, working in a career he loves. Brian would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for their support. He would especially like to thank Mrs. Collins, Mr. Fraze, and Mr. Nicholson for all of their kindness and guidance in helping him achieve graduation. <laughs> Olivia Linton. Olivia participated in hockey, track and field, and horseback riding during her high school. Her favorite memories were laughing with her teachers and friends, as well as competing in two track meets and not finishing last. Olivia would like to thank Mr. DeLille for teaching her time management and for encouraging her to achieve her best, Mr. Harkness for making learning fun, and Mr. Arcuri for his inspiring stories. They have all made her high school journey incredibly fun and interesting. Thank 
Faith Lockinger. Faith plans to attend school in Kelowna and complete her Human Services Diploma and earn a certificate in makeup artistry. In 10 years, she hopes to be happy, healthy, and laughing with friends and family. Her favorite memories were her PE classes with Mrs. Kilda. Faith would like to thank her family and friends, as well as Mrs. Kilda, for always making school fun for her. Brennan Lockwood. Brennan enjoyed playing spike ball and the friendships he created at Penn High. He plans to explore his interests and find a meaningful career. He would like to thank his parents for their support and guidance and the Penn High staff for their kindness and encouragement. Brennan would also like to acknowledge and congratulate the Penn High graduating class of 2021. Alex Lavelle. Alex was a member of the BC snowboard team and enjoyed helping in the cafeteria for school events. She plans to volunteer in a veterinarian office and pursue a career as a vet. She would like to thank Mr. Garvey for supporting her passion for cooking and encouraging her to try new things. Kaylee Lowy. Kaylee played on the school field hockey team and had a chance to be co-captain. She plans to attend Douglas College for general studies and then transfer to BCIT to earn a Bachelor of Science in nursing. In the future, she sees herself having a happy family. Her favorite memories from Penn High are the time she spent in her classes with her friends. Kaylee would like to thank her mom for her support and Mr. Kupek and Mr. R. Curry for being encouraging and helpful. Maria Lukasik. Maria played rugby at Penn High and her favorite memories were the grad activities and the pep rallies. She plans to attend UBC, study law, and one day become a successful lawyer. She would like to thank her family and friends for their support, as well as Mr. Waterman and Mrs. Brocolo for their encouragement and kindness. Chris McDonald. Chris enjoyed playing basketball at Penn High, and his favorite memory from high school was the Cross City Games. He plans to attend business school at the University of Calgary. In the future, he predicts he will own his own business. He would like to thank his family and the staff at Penn High for all their support and encouragement. Luke McIntyre. Luke plans to attend Thompson Rivers University and play baseball. His favorite activities during high school were playing baseball, spike ball, and snowboarding up at Apex. In the future, he sees himself making a career out of spike ball. He would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for their support, especially Mr. Harkness for his passion for teaching. Zach McIntyre. Zach plans to study engineering at the University of Waterloo. In the future, he hopes to be designing interesting things. His favorite memory from Penn High was the Calgary band trip in grade 10. He would like to thank his family for their support and his teachers for their encouragement. Brett McLean. Brett played hockey in the OHA program. He plans to play junior hockey and attend university. In 10 years, Brett would like to have a career in real estate or in law. His favorite memories were in Law 12 because it was the first class he took at Penn High. He would like to thank Mr. Nakoni for always being there to help when he needed it. His most memorable teacher is Mr. McElroy because he is a great teacher who makes learning fun. Matthew McNally. Matthew plans to attend post-secondary and study game development and one day become a video game designer. 
He, enjoys it, he enjoyed his academic classes at Penn High and would like to thank his family and friends for their support and understanding, as well as his teachers for their encouragement. Adrian Markovich. Adrian was involved in the drama department at Penn High and enjoyed the musicals, especially Sister Act, before it was canceled due to COVID. In the future, they plan to be a drama teacher. Their favorite memories are all the warm and fuzzies from their drama classes. Adrian would like to thank Mr. Knutson for encouraging them to come out of their shell and Mr. Glibbery for motivating them to be a better performer. Anna Marshall. Anna enjoyed participating in leadership class. She plans to attend post-secondary school and study sciences. Her future plans are to explore her passions and go wherever the wind blows. Her favorite memories were being with her friends. She would like to thank Mr. Arkiri for his humor and for always making class fun. Brady Marshall. Brady played on the grade 10 basketball team and has fond memories of going to the gym every morning to play basketball with his friends. He will be taking a gap year to work and save money for university. He plans to become an engineer. Brady would like to thank Mr. Gao, who taught him AP Calculus and AP Physics and encouraged Brady to succeed. Gina McCready. Jaina enjoyed participating in Pottery Club and the meaningful friendships she established at Penn High. She plans to continue working full time and one day open a restaurant of her own. Jaina would like to thank her parents for supporting her and Mrs. Reed for her continuous kindness and encouragement in class. Jordana McEckern. Jordana plans to attend post-secondary to study sciences. She would like to become a climatologist one day. She enjoyed participating in the 10,000 Tonight fundraiser and the Global Awareness Club, and especially had fun playing the game Kahoot in the library for a global awareness activity. Jordana would like to thank Mr. Keckley and Mr. Harkness for their motivation and guidance in the classroom. Callum McGill. Callum played with the Okanagan Hockey Academy and plans to continue playing hockey in the future. His goal is to become a heavy duty mechanic. He has fond memories of English 11 class. Callum would like to sincerely thank Mr. Nakoni, Mrs. West, his coaches, and the OHA staff for all their support. Ryan McGuire. Ryan played hockey with the Penticton V's during his grad year. He will be attending Colgate University in Hamilton, New York, and continuing pursuing his hockey career. He would like to thank his family and friends for helping him get to where he is today. He would also like to thank Mr. Harbinson and the rest of the V's coaching staff for their guidance. He would especially like to thank his mom and dad for believing in him and sticking by his side through thick and thin. Brittany McGyver. Brittany plans to take a year or two off to work and save money, travel, and then go back to school. In 10 years, she would like to be either working with animals or managing a business. Her favorite memories are of Core 10. Brittany would like to thank Mrs. Stevens, Mr. Hyde, Mrs. Reed, Mr. Dietrich, and Mr. Harkness for all their help and support. Andrew McKibben. Andrew plans to work and save money for post-secondary. In the future, he would like to travel and see what the world has to offer. He enjoyed his time at Penn High, especially his art and digital media classes. Andrew would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for all their support and encouragement. Jacob McKibben. Jacob is excited to be graduating today. 
He has fond memories of hanging out at the 24-7 store during breaks. He plans to explore his talents and passions and find a career he enjoys. He would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for their support and guidance throughout high school. Hallie McKinnon. At Penn High, Hallie liked dressing up for Halloween and participating in the Toys for Tots to Teens fundraiser. She plans to attend university, play hockey, and study to become an ultrasound technician. Hallie would like to thank her mom, dad, and brother for their support. She would also like to thank Mrs. West and Mr. Nakoni for helping her get through the challenging moments of life, and Mr. Waterman for making the class laugh with his positive energy and humor. Vanessa McLennan. Vanessa was part of the Penticton Provides campaign and a member of the Dissection Club. She also played field hockey at Penn High. She plans to attend university and complete her degree in biology and then study medicine. In 10 years, she hopes to be finished her education and her residency and possibly work abroad to offer medical aid in places of need. Her favorite memory was going to Bamfield Marine Station. She would like to thank her family for their support and Mrs. Richardson for encouraging her to be a better leader. Devin McNair. Devin played hockey in the OHA program. He plans to continue playing hockey and attend college. In the future, he would like to start his own business in the United States or live in Tibet with monks and meditate. He enjoys volunteering in the cafeteria as well as making and eating cookie dough in foods class. Devin would like to thank his family and friends for their support as well as Mr. Belbin for his stimulating conversations and for making economics interesting to study. Kira Millart. Kira enjoyed her time at Penn High and is excited to be graduating today. She plans to explore her interests and passions and see what the future holds. She would like to thank her family, friends, and the staff at Penn High for all their support and kindness. She would also like to congratulate her graduating class of 2021. Jillian Millard. Jillian's favorite memories from Penn High were co-creating and attending the Planet Terror Club with Madame Fichter. She would like to thank her family and friends for their support. She would especially like to thank Mr. Arcuri for guiding her on the path of the rest of her life. Ben Miller. Ben will be attending UVic to study biology to obtain a science degree, and then he plans to attend medical school and complete his residency. Ben has fond memories of participating in cross country as well as finishing his AP tests. He would like to thank both Mr. Dietrich and Mr. Harkness for their passion in the sciences and in particular for fostering his interest in biology. He would also like to thank his family and friends for their support. Zetzangiri Miranda Camancho. Zetzangiri participated in choir concerts and was a background volunteer in the film Change of Pace. She especially loved her outdoor rec field trips, including scuba diving and snowboarding. She is enrolled at Selkirk College to study psychology and pursue a career she loves. She would like to thank all of her teachers for their support, kindness, and assistance in her learning. She enjoyed her time at Penn High and will miss it when she leaves. Aoto Miyazaki. Aoto plans to attend university in Japan to study business and find a career he enjoys in that field. In 10 years, he hopes to have a family of his own and live in a beautiful house. His favorite memories from Penn High were playing tennis and going to the gym with his friends. Aoto is grateful to his host family for welcoming him to Canada and making his stay so pleasant and comforting. He would like to thank Mrs. Malte for her kindness, support, and guidance.
Ryan Moliker. Ryan enjoyed his social studies and drama classes at Penn High because they inspired him and shaped him into a better person. He plans to attend university and possibly travel in the future. He would like to be a museum creator or a writer and write about historical fiction. He would like to thank Mr. Reed for making history interesting and fun to learn. He would also like to thank his family and friends for their support. Monty Moreau. Monty loved playing hockey in the OHA program. He plans to continue playing hockey and attend post-secondary school to study law and become a criminal defense lawyer. Monty has fond memories of going to the restaurant Sushi Heaven during school lunch breaks. He would like to thank Mr. Harkness for his inspirational teaching. He would also like to thank his family and coaches for all their support. Jordan Morrison. Jordan enjoyed his drama classes and the school performance at Penn High. His favorite memories were spending lunchtime with his friends. He plans to travel to LA one day. In the future, he sees himself famous on Instagram. He would like to thank his mom for her support and guidance and Mr. Knudsen for his kindness and passion for teaching drama. Miles Murphy. Miles plans to attend UVic to obtain a degree in education and pursue a career as a drama teacher. In 10 years, Miles would like to be teaching and traveling around the world in a Volkswagen van with someone he loves. Miles enjoyed being a part of the Penn High Theater performers and spending his lunches in the theater room with his friends. Miles would like to thank Mr. Knudsen, Mr. Glibry, and Mr. Flett for their inspiration, confidence, and guidance in discovering his passion to become a teacher. Cassandra Murray. Cassandra plans to move to Vancouver to study psychology at UBC. In the future, she would like to be a registered psychologist and have her own private practice. Cassandra enjoyed her jazz band and textiles classes and participating in the band trip. She would like to thank her friends for supporting her and Mr. Glibry for putting up with her shenanigans. Jade Musgrave. Jade enjoyed being on the Penn High basketball team and he also liked participating in the egg toss event. Jade plans to work next year and then become certified to work in a lab. He would like to thank Mr. Terrace for encouraging and helping him improve his skills. He would also like to thank his family and friends for their support. Ben Nelson. Ben has fond memories of the Bamfield trip and playing rugby. His favorite memory of high school was when his friend Tyler got stuck in a trash can. He plans to attend university and study political science and eventually pursue a career he enjoys. Ben would like to thank Mr. Harkness and Mr. Keckley for all their support and kindness in the classroom. He would also like to thank his family and friends. Seth Newman. Seth plans to work at Cineplex next year and save some money so he can enroll in film school in Vancouver. He enjoyed being part of the theater program at Penn High. His favorite performance was Oliver Twist, and he, is, he has had fond memories of the friends he has made from the drama program. In the future, he sees himself living in Canada in a big city and enjoying a career in acting. He would like to thank his family and friends for their support, as well as Mr. Knudsen for believing in him. Isaac Newson. Next year, Isaac plans to work, save money, and have an amazing year exploring his interests and talents. In 10 years, he hopes to own his own business or work in the digital world. Isaac enjoyed playing intramural soccer with the boys and FaceTiming in class. He would like to thank everyone who has ever made him laugh or smile. He would also like to thank all of his friends for giving him so many good memories. Karen Nickel. Karen plans to attend a Canadian university next year and study biochemistry or biotechnology. She would like to thank the science department and Mr. Gao in particular for teaching her exciting science and calculus lessons. 
She would also like to thank Mr. Glibry for organizing all of the band trips and performances, and Mr. Keckley for teaching her how to properly write an essay. Tyler Norris Preston. Tyler is not sure of his career plans once high school ends. He would like to take a gap year and explore his interests and talents and see where life takes him. He would like to thank Mr. McElroy, Mrs. Libby, Madame Everton, and Madame Fichter for helping him get to where he is today and for being some of the coolest teachers he has ever had the pleasure of knowing. Ella Nutchins. Ella played field hockey and rugby at Penn High and was involved in numerous leadership activities including 10,000 Tonight, Toys for Tots to Teens, and the We for She Conference, which she co-chaired. She plans to travel throughout Europe and Asia with her friends next year and then attend UBC to study engineering. Ella is grateful for her supportive friends and family who have been the catalyst behind all the opportunities and success she has experienced in high school. Jacob Obuck. Jacob's highlights from Penn High were participating in OHA, band, and jazz band. His favorite memories are from grade 10 science class when he launched a small rocket spaceship that traveled far due to the wind. Jacob plans to continue playing hockey for a college and continue his education. In the future, he sees himself working at a job he loves and living a healthy and fulfilling life. He would like to thank his family for their support and Mr. Nakoni for all his help with scheduling classes and his advice on career paths. Logan Olson. Logan plans to attend Brock University in Ontario to complete a degree in sports management. His favorite memories from Penn High were the band trips and the friends he met. In the future, he plans to have a career in the sports industry, possibly being a sports agent. Logan would like to thank his parents and friends for their help in achieving graduation. He would also like to thank Mr. Glibry for running an amazing band program and for making learning music fun. Kana Astu. After graduation, Kana will return to Japan and attend university. In the future, she would also like to travel to Korea and work at the Tokyo Disney Hotel. Her favorite activity at Penn High was the 2019 Winter Formal. Kana also has fond memories of laughing with friends. She would like to thank Mrs. Malte for all her support and kindness with facilitating the international program. Noah Ulet. Noah enjoyed playing hockey throughout high school. Next year, he plans to work to save for school and then enter into a trades program. In the future, he hopes to have a career he enjoys and be playing hockey in a casual men's league. He would like to thank his parents for encouraging and supporting him to complete his academics and Mr. McElroy for always being a great teacher. Ethan Palfrey. Ethan will be continuing his apprenticeship at Okanagan College in the Electrical Trades Program. He has fond memories of participating in the Model UN Club and the Debate Club. He would like to thank Mrs. Collins for being so helpful and understanding when he was struggling in school because of his concussion. Manny Pangley. Manny played hockey with the OHA and hopes to be playing in the WHL with Spokane. He was also selected as the Rotary Student of the Month. Manny would like to thank his friends, family, teachers, and coaches for all their support and encouragement in helping him get to where he is today. He would also like to congratulate his graduating class of 2021. 
Ryan Paulus. Ryan plans to study aviation at BCIT to become a pilot. He enjoyed playing both basketball and volleyball at Penn High and has fond memories of grade nine when he first arrived at high school and realized just how hard life could be. Ryan would like to thank his mom, dad, and the app Photomath for helping him succeed in math. He would also like to thank all of his teachers for giving him extra time to complete his tests. Ryan would also like to thank Mr. Heinrich and Mr. Gao for making physics fun. Marco Pavlovich. Marco played hockey in the OHA program. He plans to play junior hockey in either BC or Alberta and attend post-secondary to pursue a statistics degree. His future goals are to have a family, live a healthy life, and acquire mass wealth. His favorite memory from Penn High was receiving the Toblerone from Mr. Batero for getting the highest pre-calculus mark in the class. He would like to thank his mom and dad for their support and help in all his achievements. Quentin Pearson. Quentin plans to attend post-secondary and study engineering. His future goals are to become either the next Elon Musk or play ba basketball with LeBron James Jr. Quinton enjoyed playing on the Penn High basketball team and his favorite memories were when he played basketball against Summerland. He would like to thank Mr. McGrady for being a wise, calm, and fun middle school teacher. Mark Perrin. Mark had fun playing on the Penn High basketball team and meeting new people in high school. He plans to attend post-secondary and find a career he is passionate about. He would like to thank his family and friends, as well as his teachers, Mr. Cook and Mr. Dillon, for making learning an exciting journey. He would also like to congratulate his fellow peers for achieving graduation. Lauren Peters. Lauren would like to attend UBC in Vancouver to study engineering. She would like to thank her parents for their endless support and encouragement, as well as Mr. Keckley and Mr. Gao for bringing so much life and energy into their classrooms. Because of their teaching style, she always looked forward to going to her English, physics, and calculus classes at Penn High. Jordan Pachenyuk. Jordan plans on attending the University of Toronto and in 10 years hopes to be practicing law for an international orga organization such as the United Nations. He would like to sincerely thank Mrs. Edie Watkins, who left this world far too soon, but set him on the path to becoming a passionate learner. In grade two, she introduced Jordan to the Harry Potter series, which sparked a passion for books. He would also like to thank Mr. App for challenging him to think differently, Mr. DeLille for teaching him critical thinking and perspective, and Mr. Glibbery for promoting beauty and fulfillment in the arts. Jared Picklick. Jared played hockey in the OHA program. He would like to continue playing hockey in Lethbridge next year. Jared's favorite memories from Hen Penn High were the friends he made. He would like to thank his family for their support and his coaches for their guidance. He would also like to thank Mr. Nikoni for all his help in the OHA program. Kimberly Pierre. Kim is excited to be graduating today. Her favorite high school memory was when she got hit in the head with a dodgeball. She would love to travel around BC in the future and see what this beautiful province has to offer. Kim would like to thank her mother for all of her love and support. She would also like to thank Mrs. Stevens and Mr. Hyde for all of their kindness, guidance, and for never giving up on her. 
Kim's advice to future grads is go to school, explore your passions, and get it done. Kia Planadin. Kia participated in many leadership events, such as 10,000 Tonight and the Toys for Tots to Teens fundraiser. Her favorite memories from Penn High were line dancing and the pep rallies. She plans to work part-time and attend UBCO in Kelowna to study psychology. She would like to thank her family and friends who motivated her to pursue her goals. She would also like to thank all of her teachers who believed in her and encouraged her to do her best. Kira Ploner. Kira will be taking a gap year to work and save money for school. Her future goals are to be working in the medical field or pursuing a career in biology. She would like to thank Mr. Harkness for his caring and compassionate approach to teaching and for giving her opportunities to succeed. Merrick Pacharuni. Merrick plans to pursue a career in hockey as well as study business and technology. In the future, he sees himself becoming an entrepreneur. Merrick's favorite memories from Penn High were the meaningful friendships he established. He would like to thank his family, teachers, and coaches for helping him find success over the past two years, and Mrs. Collins for teaching him English and showing him how to find value, perspective, and meaning in different aspects of life and society. Sophia Picorni. Sophia plans to attend university and obtain a Bachelor of Arts degree and then study law. She hopes to become a corporate lawyer one day. Sophia would like to thank Mr. Reed, Mr. Belbin, and Mr. Harkness for always encouraging her with their dynamic classroom environment. They are her most memorable, te memorable teachers who genuinely helped her find her passions in life. She would like to thank her friends and family, especially her mom and dad, for all their love and support. Thank you. Brianne Powell. Brianne is grateful to have had the opportunity to play hockey with the OHA program. In the future, she would like to travel and experience the world, as well as own a business in the hospitality industry. Brianne would like to thank her parents for their influence in shaping her into the person she is today. She would also like to thank Mr. Nakoni for supporting her and Mr. Kupik for inspiring her to reflect on her own life and values. Maya Proto. Maya plans to continue working at Walmart for the next three to five years and then attend school. In 10 years, she would like to have her schooling and training complete and begin her career as a fish and game warden. She has great memories of meeting people in Mr. Grant's PE class in grade nine. She also enjoyed participating in cadets. Maya would like to thank the Penn High staff, especially the LAC teachers for all their support. Sasha Purton. Sas Sasha enjoyed his time at Penn High and was an avid tennis player. He plans to attend university and explore his interests and talents to find a fulfilling career. He would like to thank his family and friends for their support and Mr. DeLille for making social studies interesting and enjoyable. Sasha would also like to congratulate the graduating class of 2021. Ashley Rathwell. Ashley plans to work, save money, and then travel and experience the world. In the future, she sees herself traveling and going on adventures while exploring her own passions and interests. Her favorite memories from Penn High were from her outdoor rec class when they went skiing, hiking, and played outdoor games. She would like to thank her mom for always encouraging and supporting her to do her best and for helping with her homework. Aaron Reeder. 
Erin enjoyed participating in art, jazz band, and track and field. Her favorite memory from Penn High was attending the track meet with her friends in grade 10. Erin plans to attend university and study biology to pursue a science degree. She would also like to travel and work abroad. In the future, she would like to have a career in cancer research or genetic engineering. Erin would like to thank Mr. Harkness for all his enthusiastic and engaging classes and for helping her become fascinated with the study of biology. Zoe Roflego. Zoe enjoyed her culinary arts classes at Penn High. She plans to work, save money, and then explore her passions. She has fond memories of the authentic friendships she has created. Zoe would like to thank her parents for all their help and support. She would also like to thank Miss Libby for her encouragement and compassion for learning. Caitlin Riddle. Caitlin was involved in many leadership activities, such as Toys for Tots and We for She. She also volunteered at the hospital. She plans to attend Western University in Ontario. In the future, Caitlin would like to travel and pursue a career she loves. Her favorite memories from Penn High were times spent with her friends. Caitlin would like to thank her teachers, especially Mr. DeLille, for encouraging her to work harder and always try her best. Megan Robar. Megan's favorite memories of Penn High were her involvements in musical theater, working with her peers to create amazing shows. She plans to attend university and obtain a degree in sociology, or sorry, psychology. In 10 years, she sees herself involved in child and adolescent clinical psychology. Megan would like to thank her parents for always supporting her, as well as her best friend, Miles, and everyone in the theater program who were always there to listen, laugh, and encourage her. She also thanks Mr. Knudsen and Mrs. Kosh for always being a support system and a willing ear when she needed it the most. Charles Robertson. Charles is excited to be graduating today. He has enjoyed his time at Penn High. In the future, Charles hopes to hop on a plane to Australia and spend some time in the sun living the surf life. He would like to thank his teachers and especially his family for all their love and support. Jenna Ronmark. Jenna will be attending the University of Alberta majoring in sociology. In 10 years, she sees herself being the best person she can be with whatever obstacle she faces in life. Jenna would like to thank the Lord above, her family, and all her teachers who have supported her and helped her achieve her greatest potential. She looks forward to seeing what the future holds. Brayden Ross. Brayden appreciated being part of OHA and making new friends in the process. He plans to play junior hockey before attending university to study criminology or aviation. In 10 years, Brayden sees himself living in the Okanagan with a career related to his studies. He would like to thank his mom and dad, Mr. Nakoni, the OHA coaches, and all his teachers for their support. He would especially like to thank Mr. Waterman for making class enjoyable every day with his positive energy and passion for teaching. Max Roy. Max plans to stay local and work. He would like to explore his interests and hopes to have an easygoing life full of friends and family. His favorite memories at Penn High were spending time with his friends. Max would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for their kindness and support over the past four years. Lynn Rupendyer. Lynn's favorite memories from Penn High were operating the lighting for musical theater and accidentally attending a grade 12 biology class. She plans to move to Nova Scotia and attend university. Her future goals are to work for a nonprofit company in a big city and own a cat. She would like to thank Mr. Knudsen for creating a safe learning environment, Mr. Arcuri for making chemistry exciting, 
Mr. Batero for helping her understand math more easily, Mr. Gao for being a phenomenal and patient teacher, Madame Young for getting her started on study habits in grade six, and Madame Fichter for providing a calm atmosphere for learning. Ethan Russell. Ethan plans to attend TRU and study psychology or play junior B hockey. In 10 years, he would like to be a counselor focusing on mental health and social issues. His favorite memories at Penn High were winning the floor hockey league in grade nine and making a two-day chess game in drafting class. He would like to thank Mr. Belbin for making class fun and teaching the stock game, and Mr. Bellamo for being an amazing teacher and making learning business exciting. Nicole Samberger. Nicole plans to attend university and pursue a career she is passionate about. She enjoyed her time at Penn High and would like to congratulate her graduating class. She would like to thank her parents, friends, Mr. Keckley, and Mrs. Boxall for all their support and encouragement. Nicole is thankful for all the wonderful experiences that have shaped her into the person she is today. Sean Sandy. Sean, in Sean enjoyed his time at Penn High and is excited to be graduating today. He plans to explore his interests and passions and see what the world has to offer. He would like to thank his family and friends and teachers for all their support and encouragement. He would also like to congratulate his graduating class of 2021. Sean Sanders. Sean is excited to be graduating today. As soon as life gets back to normal, she will be hopping on an airplane and traveling to experience what the world has to offer. Sean would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for all of their love and support. Riley Schlackel. Riley plans to attend the University of Calgary and obtain a Bachelor of Arts degree, and then attend law school. She would like to thank her mom for being her biggest cheerleader and always having her back. She would also like to thank the rest of her family for helping her achieve graduation. Her most memorable teacher was Mr. Belbin. Riley always looked forward to his classes and the laughter that followed. Alexa Schneider. Alexa plans to take a gap year and explore her passions and then pursue her dreams. In 10 years, she sees herself being the best mother she can be and having a large family. Alexa would like to thank her sister, Jaden, for all her wisdom and expertise in this thing called life. She would also like to thank her teachers and friends for all their support and encouragement over the past four years of high school. Katie Schrank. Katie enjoyed her time at Penn High and is excited to be graduating today. She plans to explore her interests and passions and see what the future holds for her. She would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for all their support and encouragement. She would also like to congratulate her graduating class of 2021. Nicholas Shuley. Nick plans to pursue a career in music and fulfill his dream to be a professional music artist. His favorite memories from high school were making music with his friends. He would like to thank his family and friends for their support and Mrs. Reed and Mr. Hyde for helping, him, helping keep him focused in school. Alexander Sells. Alex plans to attend Okanagan College to complete the apprenticeship program in carpentry. He has fond memories of making a Murphy bed in woodworking class and hanging out with the boys. He would like to thank Mr. Bond, Mr. Allenson, and Mr. Knowlton for all their support and guidance, as well as Mr. McElroy for his interesting and motivating lessons.
Sophie Serendip. At Penn High, Sophie was involved in theater performance, musical theater, improv, and visual arts. Her favorite memories were painting the drama room doors and spending time in the drama room with her fellow thespians. She has been making short films since grade 11 and plans to attend a Canadian university to study film production. In the future, she hopes to be directing feature films that focus on LGBTQIA stories, sustainability, and inclusivity. Sophie would like to thank all her teachers for nurturing and encouraging her to do her best. Nikita Sergeyev. Nikita enjoyed playing basketball at Penn High and has great memories of playing in basketball tournaments with his friends. He would like to continue working while completing his apprenticeship in meat cutting and earning his credentials in the Red Seal training program. Nikita would like to thank his mother for her support and Mr. Harkness and Mrs. Fichter for helping him achieve graduation. Chase Simor. Chase enjoyed playing rugby at Penn High. He plans to attend college to complete the apprenticeship program for welding. He enjoyed his time at Penn High and would like to thank Mrs. Marsh for her patience and encouragement during all the times he and Daniel distracted her from teaching her class. Caden Scotty. Caden enjoyed playing baseball during high school and has great memories weight training with Mr. Gunning in the gym. He plans to attend TRU and complete the welding program. In the future, he hopes to be a pipeline welder. Caden would like to thank his parents and friends, along with his favorite teacher, Mr. Gunning, for his compassion and support. Chloe Smith. Chloe will be attending post-secondary to study biology. In the future, she hopes to be working and traveling as a field biologist. Her favorite memories from Penn High were participating in robotics, volleyball, and drama class. She would like to thank her family, friends, teachers, and everyone else who has supported her along the way. Keller Smith. Keller plans to attend university to study engineering. In 10 years, he hopes to be living in a two-story suburban house with a wife, kids, and a white picket fence. His favorite memory from high school was playing critical ops in the drafting room at lunch in grade nine. He would like to thank Mr. Heinrich for always being available for extra help and for his inviting classroom environment. Merrick Smith. Merrick plans to work hard and find a career he loves. He has fond memories of the time he spent with his friends at Penn High. He would like to thank Mr. Gunning for his understanding and support and for their shared passion for fitness. Caitlin Such. Caitlin has great memories of choir practice, the band geek boogies, and performing in the choir concerts. She plans to attend post-secondary, find a career in the wildlife industry, and own four dogs. She would like to sincerely thank Mr. Glibbery for always encouraging her and for creating a fun learning environment. Her choir class was always filled with great people and fun songs. Lindsay Spear. Lindsay was on the Penn High swim team that won the provincial championships. She plans to attend university to complete both an arts and science degree. In the future, she plans to be either an architect or landscape designer. She has fond memories of Mr. Keckley's English classes. Lindsay would like to thank her parents for supporting her and Mr. Keckley for his inspirational teaching and his wonderful singing. Marlo Spence. Marlowe plans to attend Thompson River University to complete a kinesiology degree while playing baseball for the TRU Wolfpack. In the future, he hopes to be playing professional baseball or pursuing a career in physiotherapy. Marlowe enjoyed making furniture in woodwork class and has fond memories of hanging out with friends and making a drift trike from recycled parts with Alex and Mikey. 
Marlowe would like to thank his parents for always supporting him and motivating him to achieve his goals. Sean St. Arno. Sean participated in the OHA program and plans to play junior hockey next year. In the future, he hopes to become a professional hockey player. His favorite memories from Penn High were his history classes with his friends. He would like to thank his family and coaches for their support. He would also like to thank Mr. Nakoni for taking him in when he first started OHA and for being a father figure by guiding and mentoring him over the past two years. Cadence Standish. Cadence was involved in the Kisu Swim Academy and had a chance to compete at provincials. She plans to attend post-secondary to study nursing. Cadence would like to sincerely thank her parents. She would also like to thank Mr. Nakoni, Ms. Reed, Ms. Watson, and Ms. Stevens for all their effort and support for her success. Connor Stevens. Connor enjoyed playing senior basketball at Penn High and being the announcer for the eSports tournament. He plans to attend Capilano University and pursue a career in real estate. He would like to thank his family for their support, Mr. Gunning for keeping him active, as well as Mr. Nakoni for keeping him on track. Emily Tatham. Emily plans to further her education and attend university to study sciences and go on to medical school in hopes of becoming a surgeon. In the future, she would like to travel the world with her friends. Emily especially enjoyed law class with Mr. Belbin as he joined in on all of the class discussions. She would also like to thank Mr. Harkness for always making class entertaining and Mr. Arcuri for having a lot of confidence in his students and for laughing with his class even when they made mistakes. Ben Taylor. Ben enjoyed the dry grad spaghetti dinner and being part of the cadets program. He plans to work and explore his passions and interests. His favorite memories from Penn High were hanging out with friends and being involved in all the fun school activities. He would like to thank all his teachers that taught him, especially those who had engaging discussions about life with him. Matthew Taylor. Matthew enjoyed his time at Penn High and the friends he made. He plans to explore his interests and passions and see what the world has to offer. He would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for all their support and encouragement. He would also like to congratulate his graduating class of 2021. Stosha Telford. Stosha played hockey in the OHA program. She has fond memories of the grad events, 10,000 Tonight fundraiser, and making crepes in Madame Stelle's French class. She plans to move to Vancouver Island and take a gap year before attending university to study biomedicine. Her future goal is to become a surgeon. Stosha would like to thank her family and coaches for their support, Mr. Nakoni for his guidance, and Mrs. West for her kindness and help during the lunch break. Zach Temple. Zach plans to attend UBCO and study engineering. In the future, he hopes to be working on projects that impact the world. His favorite moment was giving Mr. Belbin poutine for the first time ever. Zach would like to thank his family and friends for their continued support. He would also like to thank Mr. Botero for teaching an engaging and stimulating Pre-Calculus 12 course. Madison Thompson. Maddie was involved in the leadership program at Penn High and played rugby. Her favorite memories of high school were the leadership activities and the pep rallies. She plans to gain more work experience and continue her studies at Okanagan College. In 10 years, she sees herself with an established career and living in a bigger city. Maddie would like to thank Mrs. Watson, Mr. Barron, and Mrs. Libby for their continued support, guidance, and encouragement. Nicola Thompson. Nicola will be attending UBC to study business and law. In 10 years, she hopes to be a corporate lawyer, living in a big city and traveling overseas to experience the world. 
Nicola's most significant activities at Penn High were robotics and jazz band. Her favorite memory from high school was winning a bet against Mr. Palm and the lunch hour spent in the choir room with her friends. She would like to thank her older sister, Kira, for her guidance, her parents for their support, and Mr. Glibbery for his inspirational lessons. Sky Thompson. Sky enjoyed playing hockey in the OHA program. Next year, she will be playing ACHA Division I hockey at Midland University in Nebraska while studying athletic training. Her exact plans for the future are unknown, but she would like to follow her passions and find a career she loves. Sky would like to thank her family, especially her dad, for allowing her the opportunity to be a part of OHA, as well as her younger sister, Roxy, for her inspiration. She would also like to thank the OHA staff and Mr. Nakoni for always being available to listen, and Mrs. West for being supportive and understanding. Vincent Tran. Vincent enjoys bodybuilding and has fond memories from his weight training classes at Penn High. He plans to attend post-secondary in Ontario and study actuarial sciences. He is not sure of his plans for the future, but hopes to be working in a field he enjoys. Vincent would like to thank his family and teachers for their support and encouragement. Sydney Trim. Sydney enjoyed volleyball, track, mental health club, and participating in various leadership activities throughout high school. She plans to attend UBC in the fall to study sciences. Her favorite memory was going for coffee with friends before school started and performing chemistry labs. Sydney would like to thank her parents for their encouragement and support. She would also like to thank her friends for making high school such a memorable experience. Lachlan Tulak. Lachlan is happy to be a Penn High graduate this year. He plans to explore his interests and see what life has in store for him. He would like to thank his family and friends for their support. He would also like to thank his teachers for their encouragement. Luke Tomlinson. Luke enjoyed participating in the 10,000 Tonight fundraiser, the grad spaghetti dinner, and the band trips to Calgary and Edmonton. He will be attending Trinity Western University to pursue a degree in biology. In the future, Luke would like to be working in biotech or working as a marine biologist. He would like to thank his mother for her encouragement and Mr. Harkness for instilling a love of biology in him. Riley Turchak. Riley will be attending Okanagan College in Kelowna to study engineering. In the future, he sees himself working in the engineering field or in the family business at Brutus Truck Bodies. Riley enjoyed jazz band, volleyball, and the Penticton Robotics Club. His favorite memory was attending the Robotics National Championship in Victoria. He would like to thank his mom, dad, and grandparents for their support and encouragement and Mr. Glibbery for his inspiration and passion for music. Xander Turner. Xander enjoyed his grade 10 socials class and drafting class at Penn High. He plans to upgrade his skill sets and attend post-secondary to study finances or writing. In the future, he sees himself doing design work for financial firms. He would like to thank his family for their support and the entire Penn High staff for creating a caring and kind learning atmosphere. Kira Upshaw. Kira's future plans entail working with Indigenous youth, continuing her fine arts passion, and advocating for Indigenous rights and reconciliation. She enjoyed being involved in the Indigenous program at Penn High and painting the mural on Ms. Collins' door. Kira would like to sincerely thank Ms. Collins, Mr. Nicholson, Ms. Stevens, Mr. Ward, and Mr. Hyde for all their efforts. Brian Usher. 
Brian enjoyed participating in the Penticton Robotics Club and Jazz Band. He plans to study computer sciences at Okanagan College. In 10 years, Brian would like to be living in Vancouver and coding for a large tech company. He would like to thank his family and his teachers who supported him and helped him prosper. He would also like to thank Mr. Glibri for being a great storyteller and for teaching him how to play the trumpet. Yasmin Valley. Yasmin plans to work and save money to pay for her education. In the future, she plans to complete beauty school and be a successful person following her passions. Yasmin would like to thank Bertha. If not for her, she would not have achieved graduation. She would also like to thank Mr. Nicholson for his support and for always making her laugh with his funny jokes. Adriana Vandelist. Adriana played hockey with the Okanagan Hockey Academy. She plans to continue playing Division I hockey at Bemidji State University in Minnesota. In 10 years, she hopes to have completed her degree in human kinetics or sports management and pursue a career in sports management or coaching. Her favorite memories from Penn High were the time she spent with her friends, classmates, teachers, and mentors. Adriana would like to thank her teachers, especially Mr. Nakoni, for always being a great support system, as well as all the OHA athletes. Trevor Vandenhuvel. Trevor participated in the OHA program. He plans to study chemical engineering or chemistry at the University of Waterloo. In 10 years, he hopes he will be pursuing his studies in the medical field. His favorite memory from Penn High was distracting his Math 10 class by eating seaweed as a snack. Trevor would like to deeply thank his family for their ongoing support, Mr. Nakoni for helping him achieve graduation, and Mrs. Anderson for her desire to help him succeed. Alyssa Vieira. Alyssa plans to work next year and save for college. She would like to earn her red seal as a pastry chef and one day own her own bakery or cafe. At Penn High, she was involved in theater productions, which help her come out of her shell and overcome stage fright. She is thankful for all the great memories and friends she made in the drama department. Alyssa would like to thank Mr. Knudsen for his confidence in her, Madame Stell for making French class enjoyable, and her close friends for sticking with her throughout high school. Louis Braze. Louis enjoyed playing hockey for OHA. He plans to continue playing hockey in Olds, Alberta, and pursue a career as a real estate agent. Louis has fond memories of spending time with his friends. He would like to thank his family and teachers, especially Mr. Harkness, for his dynamic and exciting lessons that ensured class was never boring. Taze Braze. Taze was part of the Okanagan Hockey Academy. He will continue playing hockey in Olds, Alberta and hopes to one day open his own gym. He would like to thank his family and teachers, especially Mr. Nakoni, for all his support with the OHA program. Taze is grateful for Mr. Nakoni's guidance and for keeping him focused on his goals. Liam Wallach. Liam enjoyed competitive swimming during high school. He plans to attend Western University in Ontario to study biochemistry and pursue a career in the medical field. He would like to thank his socials teacher, Monsieur DeLille, for teaching him good work ethics and his friend, Audrey Dawson, for being his personal stylist, consultant, and pain manager. Alice Wang. Alice enjoyed competing at the provincial swim meets with the PSS swim team. Her warmest memory from Penn High was the scent of dessert drifting down the second floor hallway from the cafeteria. She plans to attend university and study sciences. In 10 years, she sees herself blissfully living the dream and eating sushi with her pet turtle. Alice would like to thank her family for having the patience to raise her and a special thank you to her mentor, Phoebe Grandma, for helping her reach her potential and giving her the confidence to pursue school. Erica Ward. 
Erica will be attending UVic to pursue a Bachelor's of Science in Biology and study Immunology or Neurology. Her favorite memories at Penn High happened when she came out of her shell and connected with those around her, meeting many incredible people whom she now has the honor of calling her closest friends. She would like to thank both Mrs. Kildaw and Madame Everton for their never-ending encouragement and support whenever she faced difficulties at school and in her personal life. Isaac Watt. Isaac, Isaac enjoyed his Core 10 program and has fond memories of meeting new people and spending time with his friends at Penn High. He plans to work, save money, and then travel and see what the world has to offer. In the future, he sees himself living a happy life in Australia. Isaac would like to thank his mother for her continuous support and Mrs. Watson, Mrs. Reed, and Mr. Nicholson for their kindness and encouragement. Emma Ray Watts. Emma Ray plans to pursue a career as a police officer. Her favorite memories from Penn High are the time she spent with her friends. She would like to thank her family for their support and Miss Tank for helping her graduate early. She would also like to congratulate the graduating class of 2021. <laughs> Kai Whiteside. Kai participated in the OHA program and plans to play junior hockey. He would like to attend university and become a lawyer one day. Kai's favorite moments from high school were spending time with his friends. He would like to thank his family for their support and Mr. R. Curie for being a great teacher and adding humor to his daily lessons. Liam White. Liam played intramural soccer and basketball at Penn High and has fond memories of spending time with his friends. He plans to work at IGA, save money, and decide where to go to school. In the future, he sees himself living in a big city, doing something he's passionate about. Liam would like to thank Mr. Cook and Mr. McGrady for their inspirational teaching. Jacob William Magnuson. Jacob enjoyed his time at Penn High and is excited to be graduating today. He plans to explore his interests and passions and see what the future holds. He would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for all their support and encouragement. He would also like to congratulate his graduating class of 2021. Kiera Wilson. Kiera is hoping to travel and then attend college for her early childhood education degree. When she is done, she hopes to run her own daycare while having a photography business on the side. At Penn High, Kiera enjoyed writing poems and short stories and spending time with her friends. She would like to thank Ms. Richter for helping her achieve graduation. Tyler Wikowski. Tyler plans to work full time and save some money and then do some traveling. In the future, he hopes to be working his dream job and laughing with his friends. His favorite memories at Penn High were the field trips in PE and being a peer tutor. He would like to thank his family and friends for their support and motivation. Caden Woodbeck. Caden plans to complete an apprenticeship as a cook <clears throat> and attend Okanagan College. In the future, he hopes to become a successful chef and cook meals with someone he loves. During high school, he enjoyed hiking, bowling, the fun activities in his cardio and fitness class, meeting new people, and making many new friends. Caden would like to thank his family and all the amazing staff at Penn High for helping him achieve his goals. Maya Woods. Maya was involved in the Penn High Leadership Program and played volleyball and basketball. Next year, she's taking a gap year and planning to travel to Europe with her best friend. Following that, she hopes to attend UVic and obtain a Bachelor of Education. Maya would like to thank her teachers for making each class enjoyable in their own unique way and her family for being so amazing and supportive throughout her high school years. 
Rebecca Young. Rebecca enjoyed playing sports at Penn High, especially basketball and volleyball. Her favorite memories were the times she spent with her friends. She plans to attend post-secondary and study biology. In the future, she hopes to become a registered massage therapist. Rebecca would like to thank Mr. Gunning and Mr. Botero for coaching her in volleyball and making the practices so much fun, even during COVID. Greta Zapparoli. For the past two years, Greta has been a part of the Penn High Swim Academy. She will forever appreciate every class, the friendships she has made, and everything she has learned. Greta plans to continue her education at a Canadian university while pursuing her passion for swimming. She would like to thank her family and her teachers, especially Mr. Nikoni, for always believing in her potential and for always supporting her on her journey to graduation. Dario Zitko. Dario played hockey in the OHA program and plans to continue playing hockey at the junior level. In the future, he hopes to be a top real estate agent. He has great memories of going to Tim Hortons during the breaks. He would like to thank his mom and his dad for their unwavering support and his coaches for all of their encouragement. It is now my privilege to present the H.D. Pritchard Trophy for Outstanding Scholarship. H.D. Pritchard was the principal of Penn High from 1945 to 1969. He is the longest serving principal at Penticton Secondary to date, and this trophy is in honor of his enduring commitment to students and to his contribution to learning and achievement in Penticton. The recipient of this award will also receive the Lions Club Scholarship which is awarded to the student in the Penn High graduating class with the top academic achievement. When asked to describe our recipient, teachers use words like excellence, mastery, great work ethic, keen desire, inquisitive nature, and a lot of fun to teach. Whether working independently or in groups, the work was always top notch and the collaborative approach was always appreciated. It makes sense why staff would have loved having this student in their class. Their ability, combined with work ethic, active participation in their learning, collaborating well with others, and bringing a great attitude to class each day. Is it any wonder that staff are so excited for this recipient's bright future? Our recipient this year had an incredible year with courses in AP English, AP Physics, AP Biology, AP Calculus, Anatomy and Physiology 12, Chemistry 12, Physics 12, and did this all with an incredible 99% average overall. I would like to congratulate our 2021 H.D. Pritchard Trophy winner and Lions Club Scholarship winner, Lauren Kilty. Please welcome Lauren to the stage as she receives these honors. Before we formally introduce the graduating class, I'd like to take a brief moment and recognize the countless people who have worked tirelessly to put this ceremony on. On any year, celebrating grad is a year-long process that takes many hands to coordinate and execute all the various elements of grad. Of course, this year, celebrating grad took things to another level. Whether it was Plan A, Plan B, Plan G, or Plan J, the flexibility and adaptability of staff, students, and parents was an incredible thing to behold. I'd like to specifically mention our Vice Principal, Ms. Sandra Richardson, who was the point person for all graduation activities this year. Where staff, parents, and students must normally co coordinate one graduation ceremony, and last year saw us coordinate 27 ceremonies, this year, Ms. Richardson and the many staff and parent volunteers with, were tasked with 54 separate grad ceremonies. Her commitment and dedication to all our grads is greatly appreciated. I think I can safely say that we likely wouldn't be here if it were not for her dedication and commitment to our graduates. Thank you, Sandra. And of course, I'd also like to thank the rest of our administrative team, Mr. Bo Boxall and Mr. Russ Reed. It takes a team to pull all these elements together 
and your leadership and support have been critical throughout this year. In addition, I would like to thank the SOEC event staff, including the SOEC coordinator, Mr. Kevin Webb. The staff went above and beyond in order to assist us in creating a graduation event during these unprecedented times. The flexibility and professionalism demonstrated by the team here was truly incredible to watch. They managed all the provincial health office parameters. They kept us safe and allowed us to recognize and honor our graduates in a meaningful way. A huge thank you to each member of the SOEC management and staff. I'd also like to recognize the countless hours our counselors who worked tirelessly to ensure that all our graduates made it to this event. Ms. Robin Richter, Ms. Vari Dunnett, Ms. Brandy Redford, and Mr. Dave Nakoni. Thank you each for your work over the last four years in getting our students across this stage. And there are many others who work behind the scenes to pull an event like this together. I'd like to specifically thank our office staff, Ms. Ange Treveo, Ms. Brenda Rigby, Ms. Michelle McLennan, Ms. Leanne Boothman, Ms. Mishi Steiger, and Ms. Benita Slobodian, who have spent considerable time coordinating much of these details this year. I'd also like to recognize the event, the efforts of staff who've invested hours on graduation write-ups, editing and working with staff and students to ensure our convocation ceremony would go off without a hitch. And finally, I'd like to thank our parents and our graduates. You have invested yourselves, given of your time and your talents, and you have made our school a better place. You leave behind a legacy, and we are appreciative of all that you have given. Grads, as we finish our ceremony, embrace this moment. Take the time before you leave over the next hours, days, and weeks to thank your teachers and your parents for making this moment possible. I'd like to call Mr. James Polanio back to the stage, who on behalf of the Board of Education will present to you the graduating class of 2021. All right, folks, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Board of Education of School District 67, Okanagan Skaha, it is my pleasure and honor to be able to present to you the 2021 graduating class of Penticton Secondary School. Congratulations. That concludes our ceremony. Have a wonderful night.